since uh, we're in the middle meat, meat and gritty of uh, the stream, we might as well scooch on over to the booth. Ah, welcome. So uh, I put the infamous TikTok up here in the corner uh, just to have as like, you know, just to have there. Um, it was kind of last minute, but I mean, hey, welcome to the booth. <laughs> um, this is normally where uh, my TikToks um, tend to either be in here or outside the booth. And, um, and you know, uh, we, we just, um, I just do random stuff here and there. But how's it going, everybody? Ooh, lovely booth. Well, thank you. Thank you. I did not make it myself. <laughs> VA, more like VA. <laughs> how's it going, AK? Uh, stumbled on your TikTok and immediately recognized your voice. I was immediately fangling. Well, thank you. Thank you, Aki Rose. I've seen that TikTok. Yeah, that's me. I, I do those voices. Uh, I, I am working on tomorrow's TikTok. I try to upload on TikTok at least once a day. Um, uh, yeah, that didn't happen today. I, I was too busy. I didn't have time because of yesterday. But tomorrow's TikTok is either... I hope people like it. I don't know. Do you guys want to know what tomorrow's TikTok is? It's... I'm not done with it. I'm not done with it. But I feel like a lot of folks are going to like it. It does involve voice acting. Um, it's just... Um, <laughs> Uh, I got a lot of, uh, comments on this video, um, and, uh, no, it's not the Ada Ada yet, um, but tomorrow's video, so a lot of folks in this video were asking me if I voiced, uh, Deluc, uh, Tartaglia, Zhongli, um, you know, child, um, no, not the Spanish one, not yet, um, so I'm doing impressions of of the Genshin playables. Well, most of them. Most of the male ones, anyway. So, uh, that's gonna be tomorrow's TikTok. I do have some dumb gag ideas. Uh, I wrote one out, and, um, hey, what's up, Magical Trash? Welcome. Hey, what's up, Memory? But, uh, wait, you're Weeby? I love your cover. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, I've done plenty of covers. Uh, Weeby. If you price that exclamation point music, uh, it'll take you to my YouTube channel. But yeah, mine, uh, covers are on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Amazon Music, and a, a bunch of other play places. Um, and I do plan to, um, I do plan to, uh, make a TikTok similar to this in regards to my music because, uh, folks, uh, don't know. Um, but yeah, I've done plenty of covers. If you guys have heard Wild Side on TikTok, uh, featuring Jonah Scott, that, that, that's mine. Um, if you've heard the skate opening, uh, oh, my alerts are off. Um, thank you, Kay Farns, for the Prime. Sorry, my alerts were off. Uh, but I do appreciate it. Uh, if you've heard the skate opening, uh, that, that's mine. Um, but yeah, I have, I have plenty of, uh, songs that apparently have been used on TikTok that, uh, folks like. Hey, thank you for the 100 biddies. Just wanted to say I recently came out of the hospital. I'm okay now. Good. And I wanted to say that I'm glad I could catch one of your streams again, helping with the recovery process for sure. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I, I hope you don't have any medical bills, because if you do, <laughs> I appreciate the bits, but please save the money. Bro, when you talk about music, TikTok will go... <laughs> well, thank you, uh, uh, Guide Red. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I plan to do a TikTok similar to this about my music. Um, I love your Eden Zero cover. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. And hey, Lynn, thank you for the sub. Skate the Infinity, I love the anime intro. I got it as my ringtone when my best friend calls me. Hell yeah, Jaden. You just go bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Where can I hear your music? YouTube? You can hear my music on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Amazon, Pandora. If you press exclamation point music, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll show you all of my stuff. You've got the best voice all. Oh, thanks. I don't think so, but I, I do appreciate it. Um, I, I do, uh, on TikTok, I do want to do, like, impressions because, like, folks keep telling me, it's like, oh, you sound like so-and-so. Oh, you sound like this. Oh, you sound like that. And I'm like, well, I don't uh, voice them, but, I mean, it'd be fun. And I would definitely put them in a playlist where, um, you could tell the difference. It's like, oh, this is an official voice announcement that I've done, uh, that I'm voicing. And, uh, this is an impression. And, and I want to specify that it's an impression 
because I don't want folks to get confused that um, uh, thinking that I'm saying I'm the official voice or whatever, uh, unless I actually am. Do you think you'll do a karaoke stream in the future? Yeah, I would love to. It, it would definitely be on archive, but does Weeby have a Twitter account? No, but it would essentially just be um, my Twitter account, uh, my, my VTuber one, because um, that's where I plan to uh, announce stuff. Oh, um, we should uh, actually be announcing an EP soon. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping to announce it on the 26th. Uh, we're, we're not ready to announce just yet, but I am very excited. Hey, what's up, much antisocial? Is it cool if I use your Beast Stars audio for a Hell cosplay? Yeah, go for it. As long as you uh, credit. Yeah. Hey, Julian Nightmare with the host. Yeah, 205 viewers. What's up, everybody? When I first saw Saddam Zanmai, gave me drama TV show vibes. Like, for real, I love friendship. And yeah, it was a really good, it was a really good uh, show. I loved being a part of it. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised. Any future covers you're currently considering? I am literally working on my first album right now. Um, I can't give you the release date of when that album is coming out because then it would kind of give it away. But I got the first two songs of it, like the instrumentals, and I'm very excited. Uh, the album would be for next year. The EP is coming out um, uh, th th this year. Soon, actually, like very soon. Um, yeah. Hey, Otaku Crazy, thank you for the 100 biddies. All these roles you've played, and yet I first heard your voice from Seduce Me. Oh, yes. Uh, the Seduce Me Otome game, where I play Sam. It was one of the very first things I did. Um, there were there are a lot of roles I didn't cover in this video, because it's a lot, and I don't um, have a... It, it, there wasn't a lot of time. So, um, yeah. Have you done a September event, or do you plan to do it? I don't plan to do a September event, because I don't have the time. Um, I do plan to schedule out time for my birthday and maybe do an event then, like maybe a subathon leading to my birthday, but we'll, we'll see from there. Hey, what's up, Moon? Bro, the anime you do fire? Well, thank you, Chaos. I appreciate it. I think it's cool how many of us can recognize people by their voice. I think that's awesome. I, I actually really do love that. Uh, had to get in that... Uh, had to get in that you play the best Robin Good. Eye. Absolutely, of course I did. Um, what made you want to be a VA? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, well, Yu-Gi-Oh boy, thank you for the five bits. I'll answer your question in a second. Um, I got into voice acting because a friend of mine had asked me, um, if I could voice a character for him, a cop. Uh, I was 14 at the time. At, at first, I was like, okay, I'm just reading words. Um... But then, like, a couple of years later, because I was a freshman in high school, I was 14, and he wanted me to be a cop. Um, I, <laughs> I kept doing it, and then I, I got really interested in, in it in junior year of high school, and I started researching. I looked up voiceover, I looked up acting, and then I started taking acting classes in school, uh, like drama and improv and uh, writing in theater. As then, I took some online voice acting classes as well, and, uh, yeah, then, what year are we in? Uh, almost 10 years later, here I am. Uh, I, my first professional role, my first professional job was a fairy tale. It was, a uh, Drake, the sniper. Um, episode 228. I remember I was so excited, uh, when I was done with my session, I ended up with a fever because of how, um how excited I was. Uh, I was, uh, like, the adrenaline caused me to have a fever. It was great. Um, but yeah, so here I am now. I'm still surprised you're in cartoons. Dude, dude yeah, same. Um, also, to answer your question about how to become a VTuber, um, it takes a lot of money, so I would really research uh, as to what you want to do. Um, I, I did VTubing because it, it felt like one of those things that just felt right. And um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would definitely look into how and why you want to do VTubing, so, yeah. Weren't you also in Mika Michaela's audio ruffled? Yes, yes I was. I have terrible memory too, so. I remember you mentioned that story in an Anime Pulse video, yes. Speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, for the 25th anniversary, Konami is making a real, I saw I want to buy it so bad. 
I know this shit's gonna sound really weird from a stranger, but I'm very proud of it. Oh, well, thank you. I do appreciate it. Any tips for anyone who wants to be a VA? Do a lot of research. Um, practice. Uh, don't... Um, don't... Uh, what, what, what's the words I'm trying to think of? Don't limit yourself on the amount that you want to do. Um, because I know a lot of people who want to do voiceover, they're like, I only want to do anime. I only want to do anime. And I'm like, that's terrible. Like, I love anime. I mean, we all love anime, I would think, right? Um, but never, never, never just settle for anime. Go uh, audition for cartoons, for video games, commercials, commercials. Because as much as I love anime, anime is the least paying gig out of all of them. Um, and, and and to a certain extent, I'm like, yes, the, I love anime. I it do, The money doesn't matter to me. I love it. But then you get to a point where you record for nine hours of anime and you maybe make like 600 bucks. And then you book a promo thing that for 30 minutes, you make a thousand bucks. And you're like, oh, I'm not right here. <laughs> so that that's way down the road. But I would definitely do research, take classes. Um, acting helps. Theater helps like any type of classes. I highly recommend um Improv and public speaking. Those are really good classes uh, to have in your repertoire. Yep, yep. Uh, I just found you on my For You page and had to follow. Well, thank you, Slack. I appreciate it. Sorry, there are a lot of messages and I'm trying to catch up. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm doing theater this year and uh, it's The Little Mermaid, so I'm hoping I get flounder. <laughs> and if not, that's okay. That's right. That's also another thing. If you're going to be a voice actor or an actor, you have to be able to handle rejection. Because if you can't handle rejection, this probably shouldn't be the thing that you go for. Because as much as we love doing this thing, as passionate as we might be for the things we want to do, if you can't handle rejection, if you if you have like a very like fragile ego, I, I don't, it, you, you will not last a month. In, in voiceover just just a heads up uh hey what's up do you ever have to record for multiple yes i did that today i did that yesterday i literally i've gotten to the point in my career where i am recording like you uh, anywhere from two to six projects a, a day like different ones um it, it, it just depends uh, I've actually had to um, manage my time a little bit better just because of how busy I, it's gotten. It, it, it's to the point where um, I, I've had to slim down, like, because normally I would do three sessions a day and two of those would be four hours. And then one of them in the middle of those two four hour sessions are 10 or, or two. So in total, I would be recording for 10 hours a day. Um, uh, and, and I would ask for like 30 minute breaks in between. Uh, the the three sessions so then I can take out my dog um, uh, any new anime I'm currently working on uh, I mean I'm working on how the realist hero rebuilt the kingdom uh, where I voice uh, uh, Kazuma Soma or Kazuya Soma yeah uh, who made my VTuber model uh, that was uh, Maza Maza Mune right uh, I know that's Maza but I always say Maza Mune I don't know why <laughs> yeah, let me let me just make sure check the car facts Mazamuno. I was close. That's why. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have definitely recorded for multiple projects uh, in a day. In Greece 2, uh, I didn't know you played Milo until I saw that TikTok. I'm so glad I found you. Yes! I, I've been a huge fan of Saint Seiya um, for the longest time. Uh, since I was a kid, actually. I, I've been keeping up with Saint Seiya for as long as I've been keeping up with Dragon Ball. And uh, it, it was really cool getting to be a part of Saint Seiya in some way, shape, or form. Also, I'm a Scorpio, so getting to be Scorpio is really fucking cool. Speak of the devil. <laughs> um, uh, will you have a human form? Uh, no. Uh, Sayu is a cyborg. If anything, I would eventually have a digitized form because I'm a huge fan of Mega Man Battle Network, and I would love to have, like, a Net Navi version. I think that'd be dope. <laughs> By the way, I watched the Hori Me dub, dub and I like your voice. Well, thanks. 
uh, a lot of people ask me, it's like, hey, why does a cyborg need glasses? And I'm like, I don't. I just think it looks good on me. And uh, these cla glasses were actually inspired by uh, Miyamoto's glasses. So, yeah. <laughs> you got any, you go into anime, you go into any anime conventions? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, I will be going to Anime Weekend Atlanta this year. Uh, it'll be Halloween weekend. Uh, I will be doing some panels and signings and all that stuff. But yes, I will be going to conventions. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, Scorpios, would you consider dubbing Latino video games or anime dubs too in the future? I would love to. Uh, I've done some uh, Spanish uh, dubs. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun. I actually voiced... <laughs> I actually voiced uh, in the Jumanji game as a... Uh, Kevin Hart in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> Finn Mouth Mouse Mouse Finn Mouse Bar is that a name or Mouse Finn Bar Mouse Finn Bar that's his name. Uh, I voiced him in Spanish uh, and it was really funny. <laughs> I'm Nicola. <laughs> I can't stop hearing Haruto. That's that's fair. Um, and I'm doing extra good, uh, extra good, extra crispy. <laughs> I'm doing really good, extra crispy. I'm a Libra, but you Scorpio. Woo! <laughs> you picked them up out of the street. They were dropped, if I remember correctly. That's right. There he is, the culprit. Miyamura just dropped the shit on the floor. So I had to take it. If Three Houses somehow got a Latino dub, I'd be happy if you did Yuri again. I would insist on voicing Yuri in Spanish. Anyone else here? Uh, you've had a head... You've had us tied up here for what, hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are? Uh, I'm confuzzled. <laughs> I wanna go to anime conventions or a convention in ge genealogy, but I'm broken out and my dad wouldn't agree. I mean, that's fair. I, I remember my my very first convention, uh, my very first, he's quoting Moxie. That was a hell of a boss quote. Look. I may be a cyborg, but I am one of the most forgetful cyborgs on the planet. My memory gets deleted every other minute. That's how bad it is. <laughs> um, uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, I remember I asked my dad to go to an anime convention. Well, originally, it was supposed to be PAX East. Um, but my dad was like, uh, back in 2012... And he was like, all right, well, if your grades are good, maybe I'll take you. And I fixed my grades at the last minute. And he's like, well, I didn't think you were going to do it. And I was like, well, dad, what the fuck? I kept my end of the deal. What happened? And he's like, well, now I feel bad. All right, I'll take you anywhere else. What other con do you want to go to? And I ended up going to Akon. No, not the hip hop artist. Uh, there's a convention in Texas called Akon. And I went there in 2012. And that was my very first anime convention. It, hell, my very first convention. And it was a lot of fun. Hey, thank you for the $5. I'd love to show you my Milo collection. Can I miss? Ooh, you can just add me on Twitter. I, I'm i all for it. I've seen some new Milo figures that I really want to get. They look so cool. Uh, discovered you through that video of voices you did and saw you're the dub voice of Uno from Nambuka. As a huge fan of the anime, you did wonderfully. Well, thank you. Yeah, uh, Namika was one of my first, um, also King, I have not been to Pensacon in Florida. Uh, Namika was one of the very first projects I got to record for, and, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was, it was so fun. So fun. Are there any voice actors who inspire you? I mean, plenty. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, growing up, uh, definitely Josh, uh, Greeley. Uh, they, they really inspired me. Um, who else? Uh, I thought Troy Baker as Greed, uh, was phenomenal. Um, I, I mean, there are plenty of voice actors. Like, I mean, honestly, it was just a fan of, uh, like, I was just a fan of a lot of voice actors. And I was like, oh, golly. I want to be like them. And, and definitely Matthew Mercer. Uh, it's funny because a lot of people tell me, that it's like I, I tend to have a Matthew Mercer quality sometimes, especially when I record for Tatsia in the irregular Magic High School. And I'm like, 
normally folks don't want to be compared to other actors like their voices but man hearing that folks think i sound like matthew mercer is such a compliment because i'm like who wouldn't want to be compared to matthew mercer like are you insane the man is amazing was it hard to learn spanish well spanish was actually my first language if anything it was hard learning english <laughs> yeah, I, I'm um, I'm from Ecuador. Uh, yo soy guayaquileño. And um, Spanish is actually my first language. I mean, now my brain works more in English than in Spanish. So that's why I'm more familiar with my English. Um, uh, pero español es... Eh, <laughs> español fue mi primer lenguaje. Es, es raro hablar solo. It's, it's very hard to speak in Spanish by yourself. Like, at least to me. Just because I'm so used to English now. But when I'm bouncing speaking in Spanish to someone else, it's it's so much easier. God, so much easier. Está bonito tu acento? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I might have missed some. But when Matt talking is Levi voice? Exactly. Uh, do, 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 do. Dun, dun, na, 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 na. Oh, Sai, tell them your VA coach. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, so normally when uh, you you want to do voice acting, sometimes you take classes. And uh, I remember one of the big things that pushed me to move to Los Angeles was uh, my current uh, voiceover teacher. Uh, my On and off, because like, you know, uh, I haven't taken a class with him in a bit, but we still keep in touch. Uh, he's a really good friend. Uh, his name is Richard Horvitz who is the voice of Zim in Invader Zim and primarily now known for Moxie and Hell of a Boss. He's a really great guy, really funny, and he loves breaking out into song. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm half Chilean, but SoCal born and raised. I really need to get better with my Spanish. Yeah, it, it, it's so funny because for me, it's like a switch. Um, for me, it's a switch. It, 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 it's like when I'm talking to people in English, like, and then switching to Spanish, I, I can't. But if I, if I get on the phone with my mother, like, English is out of the, the equation. Like, it's all Spanish. Uh, and of course, Raz and Psychonauts, but I don't expect people to know Psychonauts. I mean, if you do, you're my best friend. Well, not really my best friend, but I love you. Kind of. Maybe. Unless you suck. ¿Qué personajes has expresado en español? You mean, like, play? Um, I mean, I've played uh, Pepe Iglesias in Megalobox. Uh, the English dub, but I had to voice him in Spanish because he spoke in Spanish in the English dub of Megalobox. But uh, Pepe Iglesias. And then I've played a number of characters with Spanish accents. Uh, I've done some live action dubs in Spanish. Um, uh, I don't know Rob Paulson. <laughs> um, uh, I hear he's wonderful, though. I would love to. Uh, I think he used to do classes, but I don't know if he still does them now. Um... Do you have a favorite Mexican food to recommend? Did you just assume I was Mexican? <laughs> um, Daggett for mag angry viewers? Exactly. It's hard to keep up with another language you know, but you barely know people to speak that certain language with. Yeah, literally. Exactly. I hate you got me in a side. Why do you hate me? If anything, you're welcome for enlightening you. Hey, Azriel does stuff. Thank you for the follow. And hey, thank you. Your avatar is cute. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, there are other languages you want to learn. Well, of course, the, the traditional is Japanese, of course. Um, but if I were to learn another language apart from Japanese... Hmm, maybe, like, French? Actually, you know what? I would love to learn Portuguese. I would love to learn Portuguese simply because, like, I... <laughs> I keep getting, like, my mom... Bless her heart. I love my mom. But my mom always would tell me, it's like, oh, if you know Spanish, you know Portuguese. And I'm like, no, you're a liar. That's not how that works. 
and uh, I really want to learn Portuguese so then I could actually understand uh, either Brazilians or uh, people from Portugal um, because it's different. Is there anything about the common Rider drawing you'd like changed? Okay, that common Rider drawing is fucking fire. Seriously, fire. I love that. That 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 shit was so cool. What's with the video of the characters? Oh, those are characters I voice. Oh my god. Is that the Evanito dog? What's good? <laughs> Favorite food? Alright. Y'all gonna y'all are gonna roast me. white rice it, it's white rice all right it's it's just not even fucking kidding it's just plain white rice i'm not even kidding i'm not even kidding i'm not even kidding it look <laughs> bro white rice goes <laughs> look when i say white rice i don't mean i don't mean japanese white rice like sushi rice i mean like i mean like hispanic white rice now, if you're if you're a Latino, you know what I'm talking about. Hispanic white rice is they put oil and they fucking drown that bitch in salt. Uh so dude, that that's when I say white rice, it's that. I always get the weird looks from my friends whenever we go out to like whenever we go out to like a fucking Japanese restaurant and I and they give us the white rice and I'm like, cool, cool, cool. You guys got salt? And they're like, I'm sorry? I was like, look, look, just give me the salt. Give me the salt. Look. Rice comes in all different shapes and forms. And I love me some white rice. Now, if I had to choose a full meal, I like arroz, carne empanada, y puré. Which is basically white rice, uh, breaded uh, meat, like beef and mashed potatoes. Uh, so good. And the fact that Hayden learned how to make that, that that's my future wife. The oil was what I thought was what I thought the Hispanic way of it. Exactly. Uh, no, Simba, the salt ain't regular cooking method. Dude, for, for, for Japanese and Chinese white rice, like, yes, they're made separate, separately, but they don't use salt. It, it, like, I know that some... It, it, it's so funny. It's so funny because, like, um, a bunch of my friends, when they think it's like, oh, I made rice just the way you like it. And I was like, oh, cool. The fuck is this? And like, you like it with butter, right? I was like, butter? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was like, no, just put like vegetable oil, just like fucking bu butter. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? When have I ever? And, 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 and like, not to hurt their feelings, I'm like, you know, this is so pretty good. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but like, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Hispanic white rice. It, it's fucking not. <laughs> But they hit me with the butter and I was like, the fuck you just say? <laughs> oh shit. Uh chat, I'll be right back. Uh my bulb is here. I will leave you with uh this uh video. I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> Guy. Gaigaku, you're clinging on like a patch of mold. And don't even get me started on the ones I've done in Spanish. If you recognize my voice, you may know me from a video game or a show or two. I like Yuri. Now, Neo. Shallot, I'm game. Miyamura. Hi there, Hori. Tatsu Yoshiba. Leon, let's have a champion time. Now, Masasukuchi. Terunori Kuga. The Clockwork Man. Rourke. Kakui. Mast Royal! Tazuki! Scorpio Milo! Larkberg! Hey there, kiddo! <laughs> Junichi Hashiba! Uno, the favorite! Jules! Twilight, the Demon King! K 
Kansai. Drake the Sniper. Gansuke. Treble. <laughs> Leonard von Glansreich. Shitapoo. How to tell. Speaking of which, so. All right. I'm back. I was waiting for my boba. Mmm. Ah. Also, suspicious Corpio. If anything, if you join the Discord, you can just put it in uh in there. Come to Brazil. Here we have white rice. Actually, at the end of the year, I'm gonna be going to uh, Ecuador. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I haven't been to Ecuador in like five years now. Whoa! I haven't been back home in five years. Jesus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I plan to go to Ecuador for the end of the year. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. Uh, I haven't been there since I think my uncle's wedding, which was my birthday. No, no. Maybe it was the time my brother got. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna put my brother on blast like that. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on have you ever tried arroz con coco now when you say coco do you mean like coconut or do you mean like some other fucking <laughs> like coco as in chocolate that'd be fucking weird i've never tried boba before is it good uh it depends on the place where you get it from but yes very good very good found the muertos what the fuck is that Then again, it's like, <laughs> there, God, what the fuck? All right, this is gonna be the most Ecuadorian shit. Arroz con leche? Of course. Come on. Fire? Simba, you've had some? What the fuck is it? I don't know why, when I thought of pan de muertes, I thought of, um, there's this thing, um, <laughs> uh, there's this thing in Ecuador called oreja de, elef eh, eh, oreja de elefante, which is just elephant ears. Uh, I don't know if that's what they're called in English. Uh, and before they are, and I'm a fucking idiot. Uh. Oreja. Yeah, elephant ears. Yeah, yeah, they're still called elephant ears. Dude, Oreja de Elefante is so fucking good. <laughs> Thank you for the follows. Um. My family plan on going to Japan in 2022, but I don't think it will happen if the country doesn't open up. Oh, yeah. I, they haven't even gotten vaccinated over there, right? Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're gonna start vaccinating in 2022. Yeah. What about conchas? Conchas? Concha tu madre! <laughs> Is that the Spanish version of these? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, conchas as in, like, <laughs> shell. <laughs> Coconut rice? No, I don't think I have. Oh, man. Conchas are bread? Uh, here, I'll look that up. I don't think I have. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I will say, one of the things I love is, uh, ceviche. Like, Ecuadorian ceviche. That with a fucking... What the fuck is it? Uh, with... Chifle? Which... So, Ecuadorians... We... So, they're plantain chips. Uh... We... We call them chifle. I don't know why. I think it might be the brand in Ecuador, but chifle. <laughs> I, I, how the fuck did we get into Spanish food? Not that I'm complaining, though. Great model. Well, thank you for shizzle. It happens. Concha looks like uh, melon bread. Like Japanese melon bread. I don't think I've actually had concha. Concha <laughs> Uh I guess I get to go to LA. Oh, that's awesome, actress. Uh, one of the places I want to go to the future, one place I really want to visit is the Inuyasha Cafe, one of my other faves anime. Yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome. I've been to Japan uh, three times. I haven't been able to explore too much, but the last time I went, uh, I got to go to a shrine and it was so cool. If anybody, if you ever plan out a Japan trip, do yourself a favor and do your best to go to a shrine, but be respectful. Um, it was, it was so, so cool. It was so cool. Um... Are you- are plantains and bananas- No! No! What the fuck? No! No! What- what? Tostones and fucking uh, patacón are the same as bananas? No! If anything- if anything, plantains are maduro, right? And maduro is closer to banana, but no. 
Yeah, plantains can be sweet. Yeah, the Maduro. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know that world harem, world end harem is gonna be on Crunchyroll? I don't know what that is, but now I know. Plantains are very good. If you've never had tostones, holy shit. Also, if you go to fucking Miami, and I'm sure there are other places out in, you know, the rest of the fucking US, but bro, if you go to fucking Miami, is this my experience? There are places that like will replace the bread in burgers and sandwiches or tostones, aka patacón. Bro, that shit is fire. Fire. Highly recommend. Yeah, yo, fuck voice acting. Let's talk about food. <laughs> Plantain soup! I've had a uh, sopa de verde, which is like... Because there's also these plantain balls called bolón. Um, there's also that. Hey, what's up, Brax? Have you ever heard of Ao Cat Island? Another place I want to go in Japan. Uh, I think I've seen stuff about it. I don't know it by that name specifically, if that makes sense. Fried plantains are so good. That's what we're talking about. Didn't you say you used to live in Miami? Yes, I used to live in Miami. Uh, I lived in Miami from the ages of six to 18, 19. Um, but yeah, I haven't lived in Miami in almost like eight years. Uh, hey, thank you for the fu uh, subscription, Wolf Dude. Thank you so much. Okay, I need to go to Miami now, and it and the thing is that I'm not that far from Miami. A hey, bet. Sancocho? I don't know what that is. Then again, like, here's the thing. I have to look up some things because I know that for Ecuadorians, yeah, I've had Sancocho. It, 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 they go by different names is the thing. It's a stew. Yeah. Man lied to TikTok, said he was just a voice actor, but he's secretly also a foodie. Bro. All right. All right. All right. Yo. But can we talk about why Middle Eastern food is fucking delicious? I have not. I, I think I've had some Jamaican food, but yo, Middle Eastern food. Keep it. Uh, grape leaves, baba ganoush, hummus, bro. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, Candice Pika? Candice Pika, fit in your Pokeball. Question, what state do you live in? Oh, no, I'm fine. I, I live in California. I live in California because it's primarily where uh, voiceover is done. Uh... Because, so, for voiceover, um, right now, because of the global pandemic, um, everything can be done remote. But there are some instances, before, in the before times, uh, you were, you were supposed to be based on location, right? Um, so, in Texas is where a lot of anime is done, or was done. I mean, it's still being done in Texas, but, like, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, hey, what's up, Smile? Uh... Shawarma and hummus, wolf dude. Uh, shawarma, I, Kiro. Hey, what's up, Osito? Uh, but yeah, uh, that's where Funimation is located, as well as Sentai Filmworks, which a lot of anime is done, which is where I got my, where I started my career. Um, but if you want to do more video games and uh, uh, like anime, video games, cartoons, commercials, a little bit of everything, actually a lot of everything, uh, you go to California. Specifically Los Angeles. But now, it really doesn't matter because everything is remote. However, the issue is... Hey, Izzy, thank you for the sub. Welcome, welcome for the six months in advance. Appreciate you. So I has already mastered almost all genres. I mean, I do sing. The only thing I can't do is dance. I'm really bad at dancing. <laughs> um... Uh, which character is your favorite to voice act for? Uh, that's a loaded question. And I usually say the one that I can't talk about. Is that fucking L.S. Yagami? Bro? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Um, you are one of favorite voice actors? Well, thanks. I'm glad, Rex. Hey, Ayu. I couldn't believe you voiced Tatsuya Shiba. I love that dude. Really? I'm always surprised by the folks that... Um, that, that watched the Irregular at Magic High School. Hey, thanks for the sub, Yagami. Yeah, uh, I remember... Oh, man, I'm all over the place. 
<laughs> because, well, the thing is, is that we started with, everybody keeps asking me about season one, which I still have no idea when we're dubbing. Um, because we're doing, we're, we're, we're doing the spinoff, which to my knowledge is a recap of season, is, is a remake of season one from the perspective of the sister. And then we're do, and then we started with season two and I get why. And everybody always asks, it's why did you start with season two? Why did you do this? And it's like, well, it was being simul dubbed and I'm sure that, yeah. Uh, especially because the, uh, the first season was done in 2014. So, I mean... Hopefully one day we'll get to dub season one, but uh, at the moment, this is what we get. <laughs> but um, it was one of those auditions I didn't think I was gonna book. Cause I remember I did the read. I was going to send it off. And then as I was editing it, I deleted the audition and I did it again. And then I got it. I was really surprised, um, but I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I will say there is a lot of science jargon that I've had to say, and I always feel like Joey Tribbiani from Friends because I'm like, um, what the fuck did I just say? What was that about the black hole capacitor? What? What did we say? And, uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm glad folks like it. Uh, a lot of folks have mistaken me for Matthew Mercer in that role. They're like, oh, I thought it was Matt. And I'm like, that's the best compliment I could get. <laughs> Are you a cake pie or neither type of person i flip flop over the years but at the moment in this current arc it is pie pie is currently winning and it probably has something to do with a pie shop that is around the corner from me damn you pies <laughs> i started reading the manga of the spinoff dropped it because uh i didn't like some of the themes might give the anime a try since you're in it well thank you julie i respect I, I, I appreciate that uh, I'm obviously thinking I can't tag you. Oh, no, feel free to tag me in the in the Discord. Just uh, at Sayu. Uh, and uh, I believe there's a place for pictures. Uh, I I'm sure. Sweet or savory pies? Definitely sweet. I am a sweets person. But then again, that also depends on how I'm feeling in, in the moment. Um, man, I was all over the place. I was talking about, like, fucking five different things a second ago. Where were we? Like I was, I was in the middle of a story and then I got distracted by like, I, I'm most positive I have ADHD. Whipped cream on top of the pie? Depends on the pie. You can't just put whipped cream on all the pie. I get over here, little Azza. Hey you, yeah you. You're my little pog champ. Now get over here, you stupid Oh, was that not how we did it? <laughs> Something about auditions. No, 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 before that. Before audition. Before before talking about Tatsuya. Before... Before the world. Apple pie and ice cream? Nah, I don't think that was the case. Food? That sounds a little more right. The job's being in... Oh, thank you! Holy shit! Voice acting remotely. That's what we're... Fucking Christ, thank you. Um, Thank you. Oh my god, thank you, Taurus and Bunny. Appreciate that. Um, hey, what's up, OBM? How you doing? <laughs> Pumpkin pie is 100% goaded. But also, I'm going to say key lime pie, delicious. All right, all right. Talking about voice acting remotely. So normally, you're supposed to be in location, but because of the global pandemic, you can now uh, be anywhere in the U.S., outside the U.S., and record for anime and video games in uh, the States. However, some studios prefer to work with folks in the States because of, you know, um, weird uh, work contracts with the government. Like, it's an actual, uh, hey, what's up, papi? How you doing? <laughs> um, it's a weird uh, thing with work visas and stuff, which is why you never see Americans work on Canadian projects, but you do see some Canadians work on American projects because of uh, SAG and vice versa, but it's very, very few times. Um, but you never see overlap with, like, um, America working with, like, British talent and British talent not working with America. It, it, it's it's weird when it comes to voiceover, um, especially because anime is so uh, it doesn't have a big of a budget in comparison to like video games and on camera movies and all that stuff. Hey, well, thank you for the hundred biddies. You plan on doing any more non anime characters? Y yes. I mean, as long as I'll have me, yeah, of course. Hey, what's up, buddy? All right, my cat just walked up. Um, but yeah. Uh, I will say, even though everything is remote, um, 
Not everyone and anyone will take you right away because you have to build a reputation. And some folks don't want to take the risk of working with someone who's very, very new and they don't know what kind of liabilities they could be, you know, because they don't, you know, so normally people are referred uh, or, you know, they just build up, they work their way up. So yeah, that's the only thing with remote recording. So if you are, if you feel like comfortable in a position where you think you can uh, record or work for a studio, um, then shoot your shot and just be patient. But definitely be careful. Oh, but I explained what I wanted to explain. Being in the industry, do you think anime is growing in America? It seems like it's been, oh, absolutely. Uh, not just because of My Hero, but My Hero is definitely a big push. Um, but now that Funimation owns, uh, well, sorry now that sony owns everything anime related uh i do think it is becoming mainstream uh even more so like my hero demon slayer um definitely those cases uh, my hero definitely did put uh more of stuff in uh anime on the map i know that folks say it was attack on titan and attack on titan like you know attack on titan was the pebble right attack on titan was the pebble and then people are like oh what the fuck is that hey let me come over here you know but uh, my hero in Demon Slayer, where like if a little kid had somehow got superhero strength, fucking picked up a boulder and threw it into the lake and everyone's like, oh shit, what the fuck is that? Literally, my brother, who is very much into sports, he plays some video games and watches some anime. He asked me the other day, he's like, hey, yo, should I watch uh, my hero in sub or dub? And I was like, you know, I recommend that one in dub. Out of all the anime, I recommend that one in dub. Because it, it is a really solid dub. Um, and he's like, okay, cool. And he watches it. And the other day, we were hanging out because, you know, we were just catching up with stuff. And the first thing he tells me is, bro, my hero is fire. Holy shit. And I was like, yeah? And he's like, yeah. The, the... <laughs> and I love how my brother never pays attention to voices. But he caught on immediately that All Might was played by Chris Sabat. And he's like... And I think my brother is fucking adorable, even though he's older. But he was like, uh, <laughs> my brother said, um, normally when people think of Chris Sabat, people go, oh, that's Vegeta. That's Piccolo. Or now that's All Might. My brother goes, man, when I heard All Might, all I could think of is, bro, show me the fucking Armstrong Generations. This alchemy was bro. <laughs> Passed down through the generations and I'm like I love my brother <laughs> My man fucking <laughs> uh, Hey, do you all prefer B stars and dub or sub? I think they're both really good. I actually think the B stars dub is really good um, uh, I think it's pretty solid uh, So I watched it in dub, but I know the sub is really good uh, Do 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 Attack on Titan got you into anime? Hell yeah. I mean, I I'm sure Attack on Titan got uh, a lot of people into anime, which is why I'm sure, it, which is why I said it, it, you know. What do you think about Bleach coming back? I think it's cool. I hope the creator is able to actually extend and give the ending he wanted to, unlike in the manga. Hey, what's up, Krabozy? The Team Four Star video was funny? Yeah, it, it, it was actually funny. I was surprised by how good the dub was. I still prefer the sub. Yeah. You're a sub. See, my my dog got upset at you. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Taco King? What was my first anime? Okay, this is actually a funny story. Hey, what's up, Sklump? Boba Bo. Okay, that's not my first anime, but yeah. How dare you call me out? <laughs> okay, so the first anime I ever watched. So this is actually a really funny story. Uh, I was three years old. Um and I was living in Ecuador. Now, the thing about South America, <laughs> shut up, Simba, you fucking bitch. <laughs> now, here's the thing. In, in South America, shows aren't censored. Um, they show everything. Blood, uh, you know, ass, titties, all of it. Doesn't matter. Literally never censored in South America. Um, episodes that would be banned in America, they show it in South America, because that's just the way they are. Um, so one day, my mom is leaving for work, and she's leaving us with a nanny. And by us, I mean me and my brother. We're in their bedroom uh, watching TV. 
Uh, hey, what's up, Evil Emperor Dave? Do I play evil characters? I will get to that, but yes, remind me of it, that in a second. Um, and uh, my mom is leaving, so she turns on the TV, sees a cartoon, and leaves it on. Now, me and my brother are watching. Again, I'm three, he's five. And uh, there's this, it, it, there's a dude in a bathtub, and then suddenly a cat walks in. This show is called Ron Mahav. The cat is the character known as Shampoo. The cat jumps into the bathtub, and the whole premise of Ranma is that when uh, there are these curse ponds, and if you fall into it, whenever cold water is dropped on you, you turn into whatever the fucking person who drowned in the pond uh, was. So for Shampoo, it was a cat. Um, so when Shampoo got in the hot tub, she showed up as a naked lady. And they showed everything. Titty, nipple, and all. And my mom walked in the moment that shot happened. And she covered up the TV. And I'm like, okay. And uh, then she flipped through the channels, left on uh, another channel, and, um, and then she left when she thought it was okay. And that other cartoon was Dragon Ball. So my first two anime on the same day, Ronma and Dragon Ball. <laughs> What's up, Grave Slave? Ronmo's fire? Yeah. I thought shampoo was cute. Uh, now, to answer your question, uh, Evil Emperor, uh, I have voiced some villains. I mean, uh, in JoJo, I voiced uh, Sale. Uh, in part four, I voiced the blonde dude that kills the turtle in episode one. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm kidding. Um, I'm not kidding about voicing him. I'm kidding about the you're welcome part. So, yeah. Uh, who else have I voiced villain-wise? Uh, I was in the... I, I, I'm treble in One Piece, though. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. Uh, I killed Kirito in uh, Sword Art Online Alicization. I was Johnny Black. Um, so that was cool. Um, <laughs> shampoo is adorable. Yeah, I agree. Um, I was in Handshakers as one of the villains. I was in... There was a show called uh, Hakata to Kotsu Ramens. And I was in that uh, as the redhead in the end. And I can't remember his name right now. It's escaping me. Um... Uh, I have voiced a number, uh, a couple of other villains I can't talk about. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I love playing villains. I wish I could play more of them. Um, I love your Izumi voice. Yeah, well, thanks. I appreciate it. I, there are my miraculous Ladybug characters. My Chris Master, Time Tagger. I was also Dean Gate in the New York movie. I forgot to put him in the real. I, 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 I finished, I rendered the video and then I was like, ah, shoot. I forgot about Dean Gate. The doorman who got akumatized. Hey, thank you for the host. You tagged me on Discord. I hope I like the collection. Let's judge you harshly. Nah, I'm just kidding. Whoa, fuck. I'm sorry. Is that Scorpio Milo on a Hatsune Miku body? Did you put Milo on a fucking Hatsune Miku? I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's fucking amazing. Yo, that's so cool. You should really look up the... Hold up. Let me see if I can... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to see if I can pull this up. But there are a couple of new figures coming out uh, for Scorpio. And they look bomb as fuck. They are quite expensive. I want to get at least one of them, but they look fire. I mean, just like a JJK. Oh, Sukuna. All right, Ray Chase plays that it's Sukuna so well. I love Sukuna. Oh my gosh. All right, let me see if I can. Do I have a. Oh. Oh. That defeats the whole purpose. Can you move? Thank you. Look at this. This shit looks so cool. There was another one I can't remember. Dude, these look fire. 
do this one. I want this one so bad. Also, I think I moved my VTuber. There you go. Dude, this one looks so cool. Yeah. Uh, there was this fucking scene in Hunter x Hunter where the Ant King and the weird butterfly were dancing. Okay. Hey, what's up, King of Crows? <laughs> my eye. I will say, though I love Scorpio, my favorite of all the characters in Saint Seiya is absolutely Iki the Phoenix. So, just just a just a little heads up. <laughs> uh, I've watched too many anime in my life. Yeah, tell me about it. And I'm not even referring to the ones I've voiced in. Mm -mm -mm. My eye! Later, 1B. Thank you for stopping by. Hope the rest of the stream is fun and have a nice day. Well, thank you, Ruler. Thank you for stopping by. Which voice uh, have you had the most voicing? Like, are, are you trying to say the most fun? Ah, uh, fun voicing. Okay. Uh, I will say there was a... Um, there was a character I voiced... Uh, way back when, um, Tamotsu Denki guy. I really liked voicing him because I got to do an entire episode where I just did a, a Dan Green impression of a Yami Yugi, and it was so fun. It's time to duel. <laughs> it was so good. And it's up V the B, but but I have a lot of fun voicing all the different characters. Most recently, Twilight the Demon King in Sleepy Princess in the De Demon Castle. Ah, oh, such a blast. That was such a fun show to work on. Um. One of my favorite dumb jokes is, well, well, water in a well. What a dumb fucking line, and I love it. <laughs> Yami Merrick is the best? Bro, Yami Joey is right there. <laughs> Actually, we watched that a couple of weeks ago. Hell yeah, yeah. Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle was a blast. It, 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 it's, it, it was so fun because I, I love... Disgaea and I was like this is it this is my Disgaea he may be a demon king but he's an overlord to me mm -hmm. thank you for looking at my collection thank you for sharing that collection was awesome CP princess is in my list to watch okay if you're gonna watch it uh, definitely watch a dub I mean, of course I'm biased, but definitely watch it, dub. Do you do all your VA stuff in your own studio? Uh, I do now. I mean, I know this is what it looks like here, um, but this is, um, I have a studio downstairs, um, and it's a professional studio. It's called the Studio Bricks. It's really expensive. But uh, yeah, I do most of my recording from home, but now that things are slowly starting to open up, um, uh, definitely uh like going back in the studio but um 90 of the work i do 95 of the work i do is from home and in that studio uh claire i believe you have to click on the notifications and accept the rules because if not uh it won't let you and what's up the quad father <laughs> how you doing welcome you haven't streamed in like three days what are you talking about? I haven't streamed in like a day. I skipped, I, I didn't stream yesterday, but I played the day before that. I played Uno with a bunch of friends. What are you talking about, ducky? Ducky? What was the line you enjoyed the most doing for Uno? My personal favorite was don't pull my hair one. Made me absolutely crack up. <laughs> um, oh man, that, that was so long ago. That was, that was four years ago. Actually longer, that was, End of 2016 leading to 2017. So that was five years ago. Wait, am I doing math right? Yeah, no, five years ago. Damn. Hey, what's up, yo yo -ka? Um, but man, I really do like that line. Oh, 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 I like the, I really like the one with, uh, where Uno is, uh, hugging the Jugo body pillow. I, I love that line. <laughs> like, it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really fun. He's calling out the chat. What are you talking about? How am I calling out the chat, Jerry? 
Later, Aki Rose. Thank you for stopping by. Enjoy your raids. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Oh, I was in school. That's why. Oh. Well, no, no. He never calls out chat, you know? I'm just really bad at it. I'm so sad it's been so long. I really hope a third season comes out. Yeah, unfortunately, according to the mangaka, um, they were like, the only way a season three could happen is if people read the manga. And the way Crunchyroll was uh, distributing Nambaka, the manga, was not very accessible. And so folks weren't able to read it, and therefore, no season three. Um, so yeah. Hopefully, um, maybe one day. Maybe one day. When did you know you wanted to become a voice actor? It wasn't something I always wanted to do. It definitely was like... Senior year... Uh, well, actually... So, it was something I was really curious about in junior year. Um, and then senior year, I was like, yeah, I think I really want to do this. And then I went to college for animation because I really wanted to be an animator. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll be half animator, half voice actor. And uh, I remember after my first year of college, because um, I went to Savannah College of Art and Design, and I was like, after my first year, I submitted my final project for, of the year. And the professor told me my flaws and uh, on the project, which I still got a B plus, which wasn't bad. I mean, we had to animate a, a sack of flour. And he's like, not that, B plus. And I was like, yeah. That was a lot of work for a fucking B plus. A lot of work I didn't have fun in. Huh. So, uh, I was depressed for like a week and had the conundrum of, am I gonna do this? Is this what I'm doing? And uh, I remember I talked with a buddy of mine and my buddy convinced me to drop out. And when you're Hispanic and, uh, you grew up in South America, and you tell your parents you're gonna drop out. That ain't that ain't that ain't a fun time. That <laughs> I mean, they're they're happy now because I'm I'm making a good amount of money, and um, you know I'm I'm well off. Uh, but at the time, it, it was a scary experience, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, yeah. Scat pog, yeah, yeah. Wait, so I did art. Yes, I have drawn. I've thought about. I thought about doing an art stream here and there just because I haven't drawn in a while. Um, but it, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I kind of want to drop out of animation too sometimes, but it's so much money. Yeah, that was the thing. Um, I, I had done it for a year and I was... Uh, thankfully, I had like a uh, uh, scholarship. Um, a scholarship of uh, 20, 20k but I still owed the school 20k. So, yeah. Maybe, actress. Maybe. Maybe right before I left. Are there any VTubers in particular you enjoy? Uh, I enjoy watching Snuffy. Snuffy's a lot of fun and weird, but really fun. Uh, there's Mouse. Uh, Girl DM. Um... Hey, thanks for the follows. Um, who else that I consistently watch? Of course, when I get asked the question, my mind goes completely blank. Love that. Oh, Tricky. But Tricky always streams in the dead of night. So does Ollie. In fairness to Ollie, they're in Indonesia. Tricky's in LA streaming for fucking 14 hours. Literally today, I woke up at 6 in the morning. And then... And then, uh, Tricky fucking... <laughs> Tricky! Tricky's still live after being live yesterday. It's insane. Simba, why are you like this? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Uh, I like Admiral Baru. Uh, I recently started following Skara. Uh, but yeah. Th th there are a lot of VTubers I follow. Uh, I can catch some of their streams, but not all of them, because everybody streams at the same time. So sometimes I just have multiple tabs open and just switch between them. Gremlin hours, yeah. 
I you I you recently actually I you I I saw your model I, I think it was actually because of the Scara uh collabs and I was like whoa that model looks so cool so uh but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I was I was pleasantly surprised I remember I shared it with my with my friends I was like because <laughs> because I have some friends in uh that are like new to the VTuber stuff but then there's one of them who's like really into it um and i showed i showed your model to them and they were like what the fuck that looks dope but yeah 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 your model looks amazing well thanks imagine vtuba <laughs> what's up monster tart thank you for the host by the way any intro tips for your model is all oh, <laughs> thanks any intro tips for anyone who wants to start vtubing uh save up money <laughs> And make sure it's what you want to do because, uh, honestly, like, I was very scared that, um, I have a, I have a terrible habit when, uh, I'm not having fun with something. I kind of, like, quit, uh, and just stop doing it. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's bad. Um, and, and I was scared that when I was, when I was getting the model ready and all this other stuff, I was like, oh, man, I hope I like v by the time I get this model and rigged up and all this stuff going. And uh, then there's also the concern of like, hey, Sly Fox VR, thank you for the sub. Welcome for six months in advance. Uh, thanks. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely something to be aware of. Uh, know your don't don't overdo it right off the bat. Like don't don't spend like thousands of dollars right off the bat, especially if you don't have it. Uh, I'm fortunate enough in a, to be in a position where I can spend money like this um but even then like I, I only did half a body because like i wasn't the thing is with my vtuber um whether or not i was going to continue vtubing um i wanted i wanted Sai to exist because i wanted a mascot for my cover band and there goes my dog <laughs> my other mascot um but i wanted a, a mascot for my cover band where i do uh song covers of anime and video game music and a bunch of other stuff in in between uh which is known as weeby but yeah yeah i sing how you um you, you, if you press exclamation point uh music it'll send you to my weeby account and a uh, weeby or weeb or we believe <laughs> was a cover band i started back in 2017 with a couple of friends and then i eventually eventually just kind of did it on my own because my two friends we ended up getting super busy so i was like okay then i'll just keep doing it myself because i was having a lot of fun and i still do um and uh but yeah so the whole point was of beside you was to have a mascot for that and if it if vtubing didn't pan out or if it was something that i fell out of love with well i mean at the end of the day i still ended up with a mascot so i mean an, an expensive mascot but a mascot nonetheless um but yeah but I don't regret my decision. So if you're gonna get into VTubing, highly recommend doing your research, know what you want, go through different, um, go through different ideas of what you want, if that is what you wanna do. Because let me tell you, while my model was being made, I kept seeing new and newer VTubers, and I was like, man, I could have been a penguin, fuck. Man, I could have been a dragon, shit. Man, I could have been a bear. I could have been like fuck man like you know but at the end of the day I love I'm upset <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day I really like what I uh, it's Sayu because I mean it, it's a joke that a, a couple of us uh, as voice actors have where cyborgs will take over or robots will take over and we won't have jobs anymore so I got ahead of the game and became a cyborg myself bitch nah in all seriousness it, it is a joke but not a joke because it's slowly becoming true where robots are, you know, replacing voiceover and that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but you're an adorable cyborg. Well, thanks. But yeah, um, th those are my tips. Uh, save up money if it's what you want to do. Um, make sure it's in your budget. And just have fun. Do it because you want to have fun. That, that's that's something I've always lived by. 
don't do it because you want to fucking just i want to bring in the clout baby yeah i want to get those numbers yeah yeah being a vtuber that's what'll get me yeah if that's if that's how you want to do it this is the most expensive way to fucking do it don't <laughs> you ain't gonna get the numbers like that trust me <laughs> um but yeah just do it because you have fun and honestly that's kind of what i go for uh every time i i i, I always wonder if i'm like man is this what i want to do and i do it and i have so much fun i i think i realized i made the right choice in vtubing when there was a day where i just streamed for hours and i was like wow i'm still good that's pretty good. <laughs> I just noticed his hair moves. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get monetized off Twitch so my family won't get mad at me for VTubing. That's fair. That's fair. How much did the model cost? Um. Uh, more, more, mm, I feel like I've said this publicly. Um. But, I don't know what I'll say. Yeah, we're Chimbo Shake. Something about your VTuber that I have never seen before that I love. How did you manage to add props to your rig? Oh, I asked for it. Okay, so the glasses, um, that was something uh, Maza, Maza did. They drew the glasses and then uh, Iron Vertex, who rigged my model, uh, specifically Soy, uh, they um they, they set it up as a as a hotkey kind of like how i have this where my eyes are dead or where i squint uh or get angry or uh where i have the uh, good old sundere blush hmm. Hmm. or just a normal blush that kind of thing the glasses toggle they're all just toggles Yes, my my mama is soy. <laughs> I always find it weird saying it, but yes, my 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 mama is soy. Um, yeah, and, and Mazamuno is uh my my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're my daddy. <laughs> um, Jesus. Um, but yeah, that's that's how I did that. As for the dual disc, um. That was a combination. Uh, as for my animated hands, my dual disc and all that stuff, that was a collaboration between Claro, uh, Claro Art, and um, and Chu, who uh, Claro did the art, Chu did the animation, and uh, yeah. And, and as for my backgrounds and all that stuff, that was OBM. Man, I was like, what he means about my mom is I am. <laughs> it, it's, yeah. I figured you'd get confused. It's all good. Speaking of my mom, my mom just texted me. Oh. <laughs> my mom, bless, bless her heart. She texted me. <laughs> my mom will occasionally watch my content. But the thing that surprises her is that I sing uh, a lot because, like, as a kid, I was like, <laughs> But in most recent years, uh, she's noticed that I do covers and all that stuff. And uh, apparently she just texted me about, Dude, that is literally the one she was talking about. She was talking about a hero. Oh, you were talking about heroes is yeah hero the hero cards are my favorite like hero deck i i have a I have an okay hero deck um also technically size rig siblings with timbit purple poop headband and uh 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 <laughs> um snuffy that's who <laughs> their first model uh hero yeah <laughs> the song hero but all right all right you guys want to see something embarrassing? It involves voiceover. You guys want to see something embarrassing? Because my mom, my mom pointed out this. This was this was on here. Hold on. So, no, not that. Hold on. 
Hold on. I have to... I have to find it. <laughs> I have to find it. Hold on. Where the fuck is this? Because my mom literally saw it. No, that's... That's the voice thing. Uh... Where is this fucking song? Is this it? No. I'm looking for it, Chad. I'm looking for it. Where the fuck did... Did my mom illegally watch it? <laughs> uh... Hey, what's up, Toy Alive? How you doing? Where the fuck is this? Uh, size mom bragging to the other moms. My son is a cyborg. That's my mijito. <laughs> That's my mijito. Jeez. Sounds like mojito. Hey, furry fate. Fury fate. Why do I always say furry? Fury fate. Thank you for the sub. Adios. Gonna work out and cry. Hey, later, monster tart. Thank you for stopping by. I'm looking for it. All right, as soon as I find it, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll play it. Where the fuck? Hmm. So what we got going on? We're just chilling. We're just chatting. I'll get it. <laughs> Hey, what's up, anime likes me? Hey, what's up, Azrael Pats? Uh, I like the idea of VTubing or PNG tubing because I'm a bit weird about people seeing my face. That's totally fair. I mean, that's the whole point. Absolutely. Chatting with the best boy. Thanks. That is not the one I need. I'm being embarrassed. You're embarrassing me. Please. I'm trying to embarrass myself. And YouTube is embarrassing me. What happened, buddy? My dog whimpered. Sometimes my dog just whimpers after seeing a dog outside. Oh my gosh. Don't make me pull up Netflix. I might have to pull up Netflix. I may have to pull up Netflix. I'm gonna pull up Netflix. All right. All right. Photos of Doggo? He's a Corgi. You guys are fine. Oh, sweet Christ. I hope this is muted. Sweet Christ. Shut up. Sh shut up! Sweet fucking hell. I need to set this up. Yeah, and spoil the surprise. Hey, what's up, Lars? Hey, what's up, Nicholas? TikTok's been really good. Is this where... I'm looking for the placement of this. Oh, sweet Christ. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Why am I doing this to myself? I, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? <laughs> why am I gonna show you guys? <laughs> Thank you for the 100 biddies. I had that seven seeds left on a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's fair. Miyamura is the best, well, thanks. I want to get into VR chat, but I was too soft spoken to a mute. Oh yeah, that shit embarrasses me. All right, if I if I do this, I, I may have to turn off my VTuber because I don't I don't want you guys to see the remnants of my embarrassment. <laughs> it's so funny because my fucking face isn't even shown. Oh god. All right, I'm pulling it up. Isn't Todd a super cool? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sweet Christ. Is this, all right. Oh, it won't show the visuals. Oh, well. Now, nah, hold on. Fucking Christ. That's smart though. That's smart on, that's smart on there. On their behalf. Hold on, I got this. I got this. Tease. Hey, hey, shut up. Shut up. Random high Q playing. Don't you fucking start talking. 
fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm setting it up. Sai is known for being a tease, though. What the fuck does that mean? Hold on. All right, all right, all right. Let me see if I can... Okay, it's... <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, I did voiceover for uh, Barbie. Let me turn this up. I did voiceover for Barbie. Uh, I, I, I voiced a Latino fashion designer. His name is Rafa. And I had to sing for it. Um, here's here's the song that you know what let me just let me just uh here let me let me just put it uh hold on there we go there we there we go hold on let me crop that out let me let me just let me fix that for you let me let me make that at least a little nice a little schnice let me just oh thanks for the sub i or the bits i appreciate that i'll give you some voice acting tips after uh uh, we embarrass me. Um, so, uh, yeah, here's, here's this song. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, you guys can't hear it. Ha ha, get fucked, idiots! No, I'm just kidding here. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Voice about to make me act. <laughs> Evan. I haven't even done Ara Ara yet. Relax. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my singing. <laughs> That, that, that was my singing in a Barbie fucking thing. Jesus. Anyway, my mom... <laughs> the whole point of that video was... My mom was like, You're in Barbie? Wow, mijito, you can sing! Uh... God. Is getting murked? What? What's getting murked? Who said that? I'll keep it up. Why not? You don't want to partner me. Why do I gotta follow the rules? <laughs> I'm kidding. Partner me. Do robots have dicks? That's a very important question. Robots do not. Cyborgs do. That's been my TED talk. <laughs> it's an attachment. Who told you? Wait, that is not what B is. Relax. I was naturally suspicious, but when you said Barbie, but that was epic. Well, well I'm glad. <laughs> uh, you're the Barb. No, I'm not the Barbie King. His name is Rafa. He said no legs, but you know, spare no expense. Right. Voice tips or whoa, did you just threaten me? Voice tips or crucifixion. You know, that's not the way you ask for voice tips. Do you go up to a person and be like, hey yo, give me advice on life or I'll fucking kill you? That 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 was an example, Twitch. That's not me threatening anybody. Or you take that out of context. And then threaten you just in crucifixion! That is wild. And toss a penny to their dome. Well, thank you, Mitchell. No, you said crucifixion. I will threaten you to be happy. Is that how that works? Is that called toxic positivity? I'm pretty sure that's called toxic positivity. Have you ever seen an anime called... Yes. Yes. I feel like everybody and their mother at this point in their world has seen ghost stories. Or at least the funny clips on on YouTube. Or it's like the best moments of ghost stories. Or it's really racist. Suspicious Corpio, that sounds toxic. My first job? My first job was being a YouTuber. <laughs> Not even kidding, dead ass. Uh, then I, my second, well, actually, it was between that and working with my parents. <laughs> Forgot that comes with death. Now for the tips. No apology. Just, oh yeah, I forgot. But tips? <laughs> Hey, how about you tip me? Huh? 
How about that? How about you tip me? Hey, Kino Gaishi VT, thank you for the follow. <laughs> There's a reason I don't reference ghost stories, fish nuggets, and those lines are why. <laughs> Do you think a fem uh, female wildside cover would be too soft for a theme of the song? I don't think so. I think uh, if done right, it can. It just depends how the person sings it. Um, but I don't think so. I think Michaela, uh, Michaela Laws actually did a cover, and it wasn't soft. He sounds like Joe from Skate a Little. Jonah and I have gotten uh, <laughs> have gotten that a lot. It, it just seems like baritones seem to all sound similar. Um, Hey, what's up, Pablo? Uh, but yeah, I, I've been told uh, I sound like Joe. I've been told I sound like Legacy at times. I've been told I sound like D-Luke, even though Jonah doesn't play D-Luke. But Sean Shiblock is another example of a baritone. Uh, we all sound similar. <laughs> oh, hi! Uh, welcome, Mitchell. Hey, Rika. What's good? Ah, yes, the baritone curse. Which, personally, I don't mind. I'm fine with it. Hey, what's up, Fuyumi? How's it going? Do you have any routines for voice acting, like preparations? Okay, everybody says they have preparations. I'm gonna tell you right now, 90% of them do not follow those preparations. The only person I know that might follow their preparations to a T is James Arnold Taylor because he actually has health issues. Um, but when it comes to preparations that I do is I wake up, I drink a bunch of water, um... And I kind of just clear out my nostrils because I tend to wake up and I'm very mucousy. Thankfully, a lot of the roles I do uh, in the morning tend to be the lower. So uh, when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I'm Tatsuya Shiba. Now then, let's see. So I'm uh, I'm already like that. So sometimes use uh, waking up in the morning to your advantage. Especially, uh, like, it, it's it's always fun, because then you get that, like, tiny little bit of morning rasp. Uh, the morning voice advantage. Uh, other than that, uh, I do a lip trills, the... Of course you can't see it, because, you know, VTuber model. That would be amazing if in the future VTuber models were able to do that. That'd be cool. Um, other than that, uh, like, hum... Like, um, mm, uh, mm, it's, it's so weird. It's like, mm, like go to your highest, like hum all the way to your highest to your lowest pitch. That helps, uh, warm you up as well. Oh, thank you. Uh, Gekura. I appreciate the 40 bitch. How do you clear your nose correctly? Lately, I've been having breathing issues. Okay, well, I do it the gross way, and when I get in the shower, I just go, you know, like, literally push on a nostril and and blow on the other, and then vice versa. Um, tea also helps, especially in the morning. Tea. I heard some voice actors started out doing stage plays. Is that true? Not for me. Well, actually, kind of. Yes and no. I did some plays, but I didn't start out in, like, theater. Like, I, I, I mean, high school theater, sure. And even when I was in uh, pre-K, sure, but I don't think pre-K pre -K counts. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that, like, some have, not everybody. And it's okay if you have and you haven't, you know? It, it, you can do whatever it is as long as um, you put work and that kind of stuff. My voice teacher made me do all sorts of uh, weird noises for singing. Hey, that's, that's vocal warm-ups. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. But what's a job simpler that's simpler to voice acting? What do you mean? Hey, order. Order 66. Thank you for the prime. Prime. Thank you for the sub and welcome. Do you ever have trouble with your tone when you switch between languages? Hmm. Um. If I'm, if I'm in the middle of talking in English and then I just suddenly uh, comienzo a hablar en español, uh, algunas, algunas veces, pero es medio raro porque algunas veces, when I switch between the languages, I have to start thinking about like what the hell I'm going to say because then I it just, 
I'm not that good. <laughs> uh, it's just funny. All right, who's gonna tell Game Lord? You know what? No, no one in chat say anything. No one in chat say anything. Just look at the screen. Shit. Game Lord, look at that screen up here. All right, and we'll let you, and we'll let you figure it out. Uh, do, 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 do you ever run scales for warm ups? Yes, uh, I'm really bad at scales, but uh, I do, uh, I do scales sometimes. Uh, singing teachers actually help a lot with voiceover, by the way, especially for warm ups. So I highly recommend if you're into voice acting, and it, it, uh, I take take singing lessons because singing lessons are great for you. So. Hell yeah, Taurus. All right. Here it comes. Here it comes, Game Lord. You guys think you got it? Uh, do you have a favorite character you have voiced? Um, I like a lot of characters I voice. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I it, Honestly, like, it, it's... <laughs> There's so many, um, cause, cause there's a little place in my heart for all of them, except Treble. Fuck Treble. I'm kidding. I even love that dumb bastard, but I hate that ugly bastard. Do a D Luke impression from Genshin? Uh, no, because that's what the uh, TikTok tomorrow is gonna be. Hey Supachi, thank you for the two months. My favorite is Treble. How dare you? <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Y'all are so funny. Oh, thanks. Nice try, Manga. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Bro, what type of voice change would make you lose your voice? Like, now when you're saying lose my voice, like, like, lose it or loosen it? Like, as in, like, you know? Was there a character voice you did that just felt natural to do? I mean, a lot of them do, but um, I'm currently working on a game I can't talk about, but uh, definitely that is natural as all hell. Uh, Tamotsu Denki guy, uh, super natural uh, for me. Uh, Junichi Hashiba. Um, hmm, what else? Shallot was pretty natural, actually. <laughs> Uh, Hawkeye in Trials, for sure. But yeah. Uh, I know what I'm asking is kind of dumb, but I want to find a job that is close to voice acting. Acting, bro, what? Radio? Like, I mean, it's still voice acting. I, I, I you're, the question itself is confusing. Later, Wolfs, uh, Wolfie Skies. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. Has there been a character that you liked from a show or movie that you realize, then you realize who voiced them? Oh, yeah, absolutely, a thousand percent, all the fucking time. Uh, literally, okay, 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 okay. Perfect example, yesterday, I was watching The Amazing Spider-Man uh, with my fiance, and uh, we were watching The Amazing Spider-Man, which by the way, out of all the Spider-Man movies I've watched recently, what a good fucking movie, all right? I don't want to hear it. Um, but uh, Uncle Ben in that fucking movie is two things. Number one, I found out he's Charlie Sheen's actual father, Martin Sheen. Didn't Honestly, didn't know that Charlie Sheen's dad acted. Didn't even know that was at him. Uh, didn't even know they were related in any way, shape, or form. But that actor that played Uncle Ben, I was like, man, this motherfucker sounds so familiar. What is he from? What is he from? He's the elusive man in Mass Effect 2 and 3. And I'm like, bro, holy shit. What a good Uncle Ben. And what an amazing elusive man. So fucking good. So I just started holding me on your performances. Chef's kiss. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Shout out to Twitch dying on me for a sec. Great. Love that. What is the highest and lowest you can go? 
the highest I can probably go is either Chibi Raw, which is like, I am Chibi Raw! Ka -ka 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 -ka! I don't like that. Uh, unless I, you know, <laughs> you know, very cartoony stuff. And the lowest, the lowest I can probably go is the clockwork. Like, more naturalistic. If I try to make it animalistic. <clears throat> it would be something like this. So, I don't know. I don't like that. I always get that way when I play Smite and hear a voice I sort of remember. That's fair. I mean, I, I voice a number of Smite characters. I am very excited for Demon Slayer Season 2. It's it's exciting. I don't think Kaigaku's going to be in it yet, though. Hey, what's up, Sketch Asylum? How you doing? Is it just me, or does he sometimes sound like Child from Genshin? I've gotten that, too. It, this is literally the reason why I'm making the TikTok tomorrow. Well, I, I, I already made it. I have, I'm uploading it tomorrow. You're so cool. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 tomorrow's TikTok is literally me doing impressions of the Genshin cast. Because I've gotten... Man, he kind of sounds like Zhongli. And then it's... Osmanthus wine always tastes the same. Or... Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. Some shit like that. And then Diluc is like... Retribution! Right. So... Hi, cousin! <laughs> she. For the sheesh. I also don't know why sound alerts doesn't pop up on my Twitch. Saying that so-and-so used this amount of bits. I should find a way to do that. Because I feel like it's, you know. <clears throat> I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well. Well, thanks. Yeah, I'm doing all right. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. Oh, it popped off on my phone. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, a Mizra VB replied to my tweet and goes, No me jodas, además sabes español, eres god, te sigo en TikTok. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Just the response. <laughs> See, I if, if I can read Spanish, look, if you present Spanish text to me, I can read it somewhat fast. But if I have to fucking think of Spanish words, I'm like, uh, I short circuit. I literally short circuit. <laughs> you kind of smell like a baka. I'm very excited for Venom 2. I mean, Nicholas, it's literally just acting. Improv, theater, writing. Um, I mean, uh, fuck, dude. I don't know. I mean, streaming. I mean, just to get your comfortability, you know. Venom 2 comes out in like a week. I can't read or speak Spanish at all. Well, <laughs> Spanish is my first language, but over the years it's taken, English has taken over, so. Have you seen uh, Spider-Man 2 game show? Of course, of course, of course. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It would be cool if you voiced in Genshin. I have voiced some bits in Genshin. Uh, but no playable character. Uh, and honestly, like, not really any notable NPCs. Just like, oh, my girlfriend's leaving me, dude. <laughs> like, just dumb shit like that. Or, when will the boat get here? Like, just stuff in Liyue. Uh, which I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. Um, but yeah. Can you have, uh, the impressions yesterday with TikTok, but when you didn't, I see your Twitch? Huh? There will be carnage. Yeah, I'm excited. For Sonic 2, same, dude! I love Ben Schwartz as Sonic. I 
I have no idea. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I've done some acting, but maybe I can do streaming for what you just said. I mean, sure. I mean, just reading out loud. Um, that that helps. For sure. <laughs> you can't do berries and cream. No legs. I don't have any legs. Not yet. But soon. One day. One day I'll have legs. Ah. Soon did I stream when? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I, I, I rarely use the blush. Because I, I, I don't know. I never feel embarrassed. I feel like the only time I could have been using it was for the Barbie thing. His legs! Thank you for the bit. Uh, Do that boat line again. That was nice. When will the boat get here? <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal does have a very good book. Uh, D. Bradley Baker has a whole site. It's it's great. Uh, Crispin Freeman has adventure. Uh, no, uh, uh, what the fuck is it? Voice acting mastery. Bang Zoom Entertainment, which is a studio out in Los Angeles, has adventures in voice acting. Um, there's also the documentary I Know That Voice, the documentary uh, Adventures in Voice Acting, which I recommend checking out both. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that was the funniest outtake you ever did. <laughs> Which one, Marcus? Thank you for the 100 bitty. His legs are part of DLC. Thanks for reminding me. I'll never amount to anything. Later, Memory. Thank you for stopping by. Have fun doing homework. <laughs> hey, Karu with the raid! Hey! Or he could have. The fuck did I say, Hikaru? What am I, American? Don't answer that. <laughs> hey! Thank you for the raid. <laughs> hey, thank you, Hikaru. Hikaru? Hikaru? What the fuck am I saying? Ah! Ah! Hikawu. Hikawu! <laughs> Why am I like this? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I'm Sayu, the cyborg Sayu. Uh, this clip up here is some of the characters I voiced. Stand by, I just realized I forgot to make the fucking... I forgot to make the command for that specific TikTok. Shit. <laughs> I know. Fuck! All right, I'll make it right now. What, what what did you want the command to be? Just tell me right now. Hey, thank you for the 100 bitties. <gasps> Gasps in Spanish. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Cyborg. It's Cyborg. I'm running a little to no sleep. I need to recharge my batteries. Anyway, I'm Sayu, the cyborg Sayu. Uh, I'm a professional voice actor on VTuber. And, uh, yeah, so these are some of the roles I voice. Um, <laughs> and welcome. We're discussing voiceover and other stuff and just ch chilling, hanging out. But welcome. I'm a mess right now. <laughs> Hold on, I have to make uh, I have to make a command for my mod. Here, I'll make it just voice, so then you don't have to. Yeah, fuck it, I'll make it voices. I'll make it voices. Hey, thank you for the hundred biddies. I'm currently running on two small bottles of Dr Pepper. I'm currently running on boba. Cool. And then let me go and pull up the TikTok. If you hear the TikTok, it's because I'm pulling it up. Seriously, I can't believe in the span of like a day, I went from like 30,000 followers on TikTok to 116,000. You recognize my voice? Shut up, me! Of course I recognize your my voice. It's my voice! You silly goose. Who would have thought? Not me, bro. Not fucking me. Uh, okay, it should be exclamation point voices, and it should work now. Hey, thank you for the follow. I don't know why that link is so long, but... I, I literally copied the URL. I wish there was a smaller URL. I'll fix it in the future. People just recognize your voice? Well, yes and no, but <laughs> thank you. 
Wait, I want to see something that someone told me about you. ¿Alguien me dijo que hablas español? Yes, I do. I'm fluent in Spanish. It's uh, actually my first language. It's mi primer lenguaje. Soy de uh, Guayaquil, Ecuador. Couldn't use a shorter... That is literally... I said I'll fix it later. I said I'll fix it It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They, they, they just didn't hear me. It's okay. It's okay. Oh shit, you smell that? Smells like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, morning, Lord. <laughs> Ethel Stan. Hey, what's up, fly sheep? Mutton. I hope I'm getting these names right. How do you run on bread? How do you not run on bread? Also, I'm part Hispanic. Uh, <laughs> that is literally breakfast. Bread. Seriously. All right, yo, chat, for real. Can, could you live without bread or could you live without... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Could you live without carbs or could you live without sugar? Go. Go on. Go on, I'm waiting. It's also me putting my lingo. Hey, there it is. Without sugar, sugar, sugar. That's an unfair choice. What fucking... Without sugar? Yeah, I think I could deal with... Out sugar more than I can do. Ooh, I, I I need carbs in my life. I need carbs. Sugar can um can take a can take a hike. We need to get that bread exactly, exactly, exactly. Can't live without you. Oh, Scorpio. People are watching. Bande dulce, fuck! God damn it! Ah, oh, shit! Ah! Oh, you sh Fuck! I forgot about bande dulce! Uh, that's the conundrum! How can you have bande dulce if you can't have sugar and you can't have... Fuck! Ah! Oh, shit! Fuck! That's terrible. <laughs> hey, what's up, John? I know! You said sugar. Did you mean all sweeteners type deal? Or... It, what, you mean like... You mean like Splenda and shit? No, 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 that shit don't count. Well, you got... You, well, you got stumped, it seems. Oh, hey, what's up, Bryn? Wait, Simba, are you telling me you would get the bread and then add Splenda on the fucking bread? <laughs> no way. No way, bro. You wouldn't do that. Not Splenda? Okay, j but other sweeteners? Shut the fuck up. Oh, like honey. Okay. You do good v VA in anime. Well, thank you, Thumpin'. I appreciate it. Hey, Arya! With the two months in advance! Thank you so much! Sugar is just sugar cane? You're a fucking sugar cane. Got him. Got him! Got him. Like, eh. Splendor bread sounds disgusting. I don't know why. So, okay. Yo, chat. For those of you who are Hispanic, and if you're not Hispanic, this could also include you, but I'm drawing based off my own experience. Why is it that... Hispanic dads, it might just be my dad. I don't fucking know. I might be the outlier. Here. Um, why is it that Hispanic dads, whenever they're like, oh, don't worry about it, that shit has Splenda, it's diet food? <laughs> my dad would, oh, Simba, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would... Basically, my dad would make this fucking joke, and to this day, he does it, where. Anything that has that is terrible for you, like whether it be funnel cake or like Hershey pies, that kind of thing, it's like, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It has Splenda. Is that was my dad the only one? <laughs> you sure did, somebody. You, you, you got me. You, you broke my imaginary ankles. <laughs> I don't got it. Same, but my mom. Fair. I can only relate to the. the 
Hey, thank you for the 420 biddies. My favorite bits of history are the guy who fought with a claymore sword and longbow in World War II and the actual bear who fought. What the fuck? Literally my mom. Okay. My mom and dad. Okay. Okay. So my dad's not weird. Cool. I have actually been following the simuldub of how Realist Hero uh, rebuilt the kingdom. You voice Soma very well. Pretty fun anime to follow so far. Yeah, honestly. So when I read for that role, I was like, all right, let me watch the first episode. And then I saw that he did a Yugi impression and I was like, I have to do it. I have to. It, if I don't, I'm going to hate myself. So I did it. I did it. Uh, no, Scorpio, I can't do that. We have Tip Top White Beard, it, White Bread. I said White Beard. <laughs> Jesus, One Piece. Dude, is your mom loud for like no reason? No, that's my dad. My mom is just a Hispanic mother. Later, Order 66. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> How do you decide the rules to go for? Does your agent choose some? So that's actually a good question, Taurus. Um, so I get auditions from multiple different sources. Uh, I get some from my agents. Well, I get most from my agents. Uh, my agent, based on my voice, has uh, decided, okay, well, Alejandro, or, you know, uh, they're from this sound to this sound. We it, Like, this is what their voice can sound age-wise, right? So uh, we're going to put you here. And, um, and... And, and they kind of send me stuff that's usually in my wheelhouse. Sometimes they'll send me something out the wazoo that just doesn't work. And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, but I get most of my auditions from there. For anime, I get them straight from the studios themselves. Um, and then I pretty much decide what, what I'm good to read for if I'm given the opportunity. Because some directors will either have it closed like they're like oh i i have an idea of who i want so i'm gonna keep it a little more private uh with the agencies they're kind of like that but they give you more of variety um but the difference is, is that like the studios give me the projects they're working on while my agent is giving me potential studios to work with if that makes sense but i i more 90 percent of the time i get to pick what i audition for um but yeah I never understood the general idea of having an agent and how do you get one in the industry? Um, well, an agent is essentially uh, your point of contact between yourself and the uh, the client that you're gonna be working with or potentially working with. Uh, pretty much they're, they're your networking guy. Uh, they, they get you all the auditions for like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, uh, Bang Zoom, like all the all different types of studios and all stuff. Stuff that you may not have the resources to get in touch with but an agency should have like that sort of reputation where uh the studios will send them it's like oh yeah that, that's a great studio to work for so uh or to work with send them all these auditions for fucking i don't know like you know anything like the new cartoon network show the fucking new video game we're working on like that kind of thing so that kind of thing i saw an interview with ian sinclair and he got Nile, but wanted Levi. I think it was. So I was curious. Oh, well, I mean, here's the thing. We get to pick who we audition for, but we don't get to pick who we are. So, like, all these characters you see, I'm not like, I want that one. That's me. That, that, that's a, that one. That, 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 that one. That, that, that's me. That's me. Dibs, dibs. It doesn't work like that. Um, <laughs> it, it really doesn't work like that. Because if that was the case, every actor would be like, me, 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 like, you know, first come, first serve kind of thing. No, everybody has a, uh, gets to read. Well, not everybody, but you know what I mean. Most people get to read for characters and then they get the opportunity. And then there's a casting director who picks who gets to be that character. So I didn't just go willy nilly. Yeah, that's me. That one, that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And that one, and that one, and that one, that wasn't me. Uh, I read for the parts, and then uh, someone cast me to voice those characters. Uh, no worries, Bubble D. Those are good games. It might not even pick them for that project. That's right. Just because you audition doesn't guarantee you a spot in the project. So, there's that. 
Uh, okay. Uh, I will be right back. I gotta, I gotta go empty out fluids. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, do you ever go to cons or signings? I did go to conventions before the pandemic. Uh, my very first convention uh, back is going to be Anime Week in Atlanta. So yeah, uh, because of your Twitter, but are you really a professional voice actor or just someone who is just good at voice acting? I am a professional voice actor. Uh, that is me. Uh, this is my VTuber. Uh, I am them. They are me. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, because of this TikTok, did think I was impersonating myself, which is really funny. Um... <laughs> hey, Mooncaw, thank you for the 200 biddies. Oh, yeah, literally going. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou has made a new contract. Or I guess it would be more like, uh... hold on, I can fix this. I... Hold on. Wait. All right. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou has made a new TikTok. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Thank you for all the follows, everybody. No, no. <laughs> I did not voice Arsene. I did not voice Arsene. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, 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 that's a uh, Xander Mobis. Uh, m amazing dude. No, I just put on a filter. <laughs> uh, oh man, to be in persona. I will say, I did voice in something that was sponsored by Atlas. All right, I gotta pull this up. You guys, I, I, I can't, I can't show this. I can't show this. Um, oh God. <laughs> A lot of people say at times I sound like uh, Ryuji from uh, Persona 5. And, um, well, they weren't the only ones who thought that. I, a buddy of mine, known as Jello Apocalypse, um, aren't you the voice of Ryuji? Yes, that, yes. How did you know? Your voice is like velvet? Oh, thanks. Um, a buddy of mine, Jello Apocalypse, he made, he makes a series called So This Is Basically, and he did one for Persona 5. Well, um, I got to voice in it as Ryuji, and this is what it sounds like. Do some crime. Persona 5 is a game about nasty crime boy, a boy of the nasty crime Oh variety, God! <laughs> was arrested for nothing. While on probation, he learns how to stop- I do want to say this is actually sponsored by Atlas. So in a way, I did the voice of it. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not the voice of Ryuji, but it is, it was really cool to be in this. Other people from criming by jumping into their brains and politely smacking them with his crime knife. He forms a mysterious group of phantom thieves. Known These are really as the funny, by the way. Crimers, whose crimest do of all is managing to smuggle a cat with them everywhere they go. The do crimers have two goals. The do crimers First, correct injustice and get back at those rotten adults. A phrase that does not at all sound weird and unnatural. And second, yep. to tell absolutely That's everyone me. that they are the phantom thieves. 
But any good heist needs a crack team of pros, and Nasty won't settle for anything less than the first eight people who bumped into him. Infiltrate uh, Mazamuno. Hang out with your crew and Iron Bird type. It might your be too bird. Except don't, because you're not good enough for them. You stanky. Raise those stank stats of yours. Facts. So characters are willing to sit uh, I love you at the lunch table. But raise stats six. takes hard work. And Nasty One day. Crime Boy only has the energy to do two things a day. I'd be dead. Mood. I'd be dead if you I got the voice of Persona you spend 6. 50 nights sobbing into a hamburger Whenever bar, that comes that out, if ever, please. The one I think they are working on it, rumored anyway. Sexy enough to not actually Can we just watch Jello's videos for the rest of the stream? Did you just steal the whole hamburger? <laughs> not bad. Oh, yeah. God. Take this gun! But whatever True! You do, spend your time wisely. Some friends unlock massive quality of life improvements that really have uh, no business he for me. optional. While others are totally worthless. Uh, oh, you yeah. can also date Terrible. some or all of them. Nasty crime boy is pretty charming. In fact, he's so charismatic and that whenever slut. he falls in battle, the other party members will instantly die of sadness. If you want to be icky, you can date multiple girls at once without telling any of them. And if you really want Nasty to earn his namesake, one of them can be your surrogate little sister. But wait, you can go grosser. Have you ever wanted to be domed by a toddler? Oh, How God. about two toddlers? Congratulations, go directly to jail. Can Facts. I date? A boy? <laughs> what? No! That's weird! Feel wow. free to date this alcoholic adult, though. That's up, totally JT? fine. Stealth your way through the game's awesome opening act and then slip slide through a series of progressively lamer dungeons. Oh! You must have had some serious luck to avoid getting caught until now. That means you must have had the help of a leprechaun! Yep. Well, that's exactly what it means. Am I right? Persona 5 is so excited to share its story with you that it spoils every mystery before they've even started. Hmm, who could your next target be, I wonder? Hmm, it says, slapping you across the face with the answer and winking as loudly as possible. Hey, true. What? No, get out of here, Haru. We don't have time to make you a character. Quick, have the do crimers question their morally light no, that is not nice. justice yet again. Was it really okay for us to change the heart of Thomas Baby Eater, the inventor of eating babies? For real. When you say uh. it like that, I'm not so sure. What do you think, stupid? <laughs> I'm, I'm proud Don't of myself. Don't worry, guys. Mishima's got this one. Oh, God. I can't keep leeching off of other people. It's time to show the world my true self. Come, Persona! I can't get it off. Oh, they really brought in Julian. I am thou. Thou art. Oh. Well, Mishima's That's dead. That's what would happen. For real? Mishima, are you okay? Did you know that we're the fan of these? Now, where are we supposed to find another do crime or at this crime of night? Yeah. Uh, we go in the. Yeah, and it was pretty much to promote uh, Persona 5 Royal. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got the voice for Yuji. It, uh, hey, Connor, thank you for the prime. So funny story about that. In that scene with An, uh, originally it was going to be Yusuke, um, but what happened was w when I was, uh, when I was recording, uh, for Ryuji, uh, <laughs> um, Jello, the, the creator of that video, he was like, yeah, so you were gonna be both you, you, you essentially got the part of both Ryuji and Yusuke. But because of that, uh, I'm writing out Yusuke. And I'm like, you motherfucker. I could have done both. You son of a bitch. And you added on. But yeah. yeah uh, I don't even know if I still have those auditions. But yeah, my Yusuke was the comic son. I see. It, 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 like, it was something like that. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, that was a fun video. Um, maybe one day I'll be in Persona. Well, I, I was, I did do some bits in Persona 5, uh, Strikers. Expedited delivery! <laughs> That's me. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but, um, um, but yeah, um, I, and I also did other, other voices in, um, in Persona 5 Strikers. Just bits all over the place. That was really cool. That was a fun experience. So I hope 
Persona 6. I, I, I get to do more. Please? Please? Universe? <laughs> oh, thank you, Jiggly King. How do you get an agent? Uh, usually through referrals or you have an impressive enough resume where they'll just, they know of you and they're like, oh, get them. Uh, agents primarily uh, tend to go for talent. Nowadays, that is um, POC or, um, or are really, really, really good with commercials. So, because commercials is what pays. And right now the climate for VO is casting uh, POC. POC act. <laughs> you Persona 6, let's speak it into existence. How much do I have to pay for personalized lines? Uh, like here? Like for me? Um, I don't know. I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, that was promoted by Atlas. Nothing is sacred. Yeah, I, I, I'm genuinely surprised that they let him get away with so much. What does POC mean? People of color. Oh, I, I got you, Violet Kitty. People of color. Yeah. It, it, it's been a big uh, thing uh, in the past two years when it comes to VO because not everybody who was of different ethnicities had the same opportunities as, uh, in light of a better term, white people. Um... So now the climate has changed where um, POCs are now getting more opportunities. But at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because they're being pigeon-held to only the type of ethnicity they are, if that makes sense. Which isn't what POC actors wanted. POC actors just wanted equal playing field. Like, they wanted to get the same opportunities that white people did. Because POC actors, is like, oh... You're Hispanic? Well, then you only play Hispanic characters. But what, uh, or, you know, but what POC wanted was, like, POC actors, what they wanted was, oh, if I'm Hispanic, I want to be able to read for, you know, all the roles, not just the ones that need Spanish speakers. Same with Asian actors, same with African Americans, like, you know. Um, but white people, they got to read for all of them, you know. So, like, and I mean all of them, like, I mean, I, I know now it, se it seems like a different world, but like, um, you know, white people would read for, uh, you know, uh, black characters, Asian characters. And, and, and um, I know that right now, like the voiceover, like the whole the whole wonder with voiceover was it doesn't matter um, what ethnicity you are. Like, that's the whole point. It's about the voice. And I agree to a certain extent. But if it gets to a point where it's culturally insensitive to to voice that character, I, like at that point, I feel like you should get proper representation. You know what I mean? Exactly, somebody. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you're gonna do a movie like Coco, I, I that that should be, in my opinion, like as specific as possible, like people from that region. Like, I don't even think it's like, you know, like, it's not like, oh, because because I've had auditions where it's like, oh, you're Hispanic, Ecuadorian. Psh, great. You're Portuguese now. I'm like, I'm sorry. That's not what? What did you just say? So like, you know, so it, it's it's a weird climate we're in. It's it was led in the wrong direction, but I feel like it'll eventually come around. It's literally simple. Literally. <laughs> and I. I don't mind it because to a certain extent because I'm like there are th I'm glad this happened because it's a step in the right direction and it it has opened the doors for a lot of POC actors which is really cool but it's also kind of alienated um, a lot of other actors you know what I'm saying and it's even gotten to the point where I've seen some people on Twitter be very hostile to like you know, I, I, it, like Caucasian actors, and, and where it's like, yeah, this blah blah blah, like, and, and I'm like, whoa, chill, like the whole point. It, wh why are you attacking them? Like, what's going on here? They didn't even do anything. Oh shit, you that guy? Yeah, it was good. 
Hey, what's up, Zena? Zena? Zena the weed? My eye has been itching. It would be great to see more Latinos become more active in the voiceover work and not get so stereotypical, if that makes sense. I I will say I have been very blessed to be in that position. Um, because I've been pigeon-held at times, but I don't think I've been... I mean, if you look at my resume, I haven't been really that pigeon-held. Um, in comparison to my, uh, to my colleagues, there are some colleagues of mine that, uh, that literally have only played certain types of characters of a specific skin tone, which is, you know, kind of fucked up. But, like, I mean, it's baby steps because slowly it's breaking the mold, and that's what I'm all about. There were a lot of articles saying that there needs to be equal opportunity and representation. Yes. Like, for example, Shang-Chi, I, no, that, that, that should be, you know, those actors. Is Robbie Damon, and Robbie Damon is indigenous. Is it weird how people get angry at VAs when the VAs are just doing their job? <laughs> to a certain extent, yes. It's, it's weird. It's weird. The blame should be put on the studios or the companies that are not, you know, it, it's so, it's such a tricky, it's such a tricky subject, because, like, everybody, ha every, every actor has a different opinion on the matter, some are a lot more vocal, some are, you know, uh, some don't care, uh, and some are in the middle, I think I'm somewhere in the middle, um, but, like, you know, some are, like, super aggro about it, also, some, uh, some are aggro for other people, and I'm like, bro, just relax, okay? Like the people who attack Laura Bailey, sure, yeah. No shy, you the shy guy with the tattoos? What? <laughs> oh, you mean Mia Muda? <laughs> okay. My brain, you said Shy Guy, my brain went to Mario. <laughs> That's why I was like, Shy Guy? I've never fucking voiced a Shy Guy in my fucking life! <laughs> oh my fucking lord, thank you. Yes, I, I am that guy. <laughs> yeah, Shy, no, you are right. You are in the right. It's, that's on me. That is 100% on me. Bunny Moon, sometimes... That used to be the case a lot. Um, that used to be the case a lot uh, for anime. Um, uh, but I know that nowadays, they usually tell you. Uh, and if they don't tell me, I usually ask. It's like, hey, can I please know who I am? Because I don't want that type of experience. Um... Uh, so yeah, there is that. That, that. that has happened. Hey, thank you for the follow. Is there a time when you voiced a character and didn't like how they sound like? You mean how I... That I didn't like how I did the performance? Hmm. That I didn't like the performance. Sorry, I'm like trying to fix my pain. Hey, what's up, Mori Koma... Mori Komazoku? Hmm. And I didn't like the performance. Not that I can think of. Oh, well, I'm glad, Xena. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I didn't like the performance. Um. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, I love that little booth you got there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, welcome to the booth. <laughs> That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you for the follow. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what's up, Lilac? How you doing? Can you tell who other voice actors are in their works without looking up who the voice the character? I am that fucking weirdo. Yeah, I, I have a pretty all right ear. There's an 80% chance that I, I know based off hearing the voice. Uh, unless I don't know the actor's work. Or I'm not too familiar with their normal voice. And what's up, Waffle Pancakes? But literally, that happened today. Uh, I got asked to voice match uh, a character in a thing I worked on today. 
to match like efforts. And I heard the voice and I was like, oh, that's immediately this. Yeah, that's that's this person. I know exactly who that is. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> uh, literally watching shows and watching uh, watching what if is always an experience because when I watch what if like the Marvel what if I listen to the voices and I was like, oh, that's a voice match. That's not that's not the actor. Oh, that's a voice match. Holy shit, they actually brought him back. That's crazy. They really brought him back for a fucking line? That's insane. But yeah, that's 100% me. 100% me. I mean, I, I was talking about like how fucking with Martin Sheen earlier and hearing him and watching him in The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Uncle Ben voiced the elusive man. So yeah, I am that guy. I am that fucking weirdo. Shout out to being that fucking guy. You got it. <laughs> uh, you didn't like your performance? What would you like to correct? No, 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 no. I, I loved my performance in Horimiya. Um, I, I really like the voice cracks I did. Do companies approach you for a character or do you fill a bunch of forms to try for a specific character? It's a blend of both. I don't fill out forms. I have an agent that sends me auditions. Um, but I have had a number of uh, companies come to me and ask to voice certain characters, which is a really cool experience. It's always it's always nice uh, getting um, requested auditions, which is really cool. Uh, I recently got a requested audition from Nickelodeon, and I was like, Nickelodeon knows who the fuck I am? I mean, I did promos for you guys, but... All right. Uh, do you have to stand while you VA or can you sit? Um, I do both. I stand up and I sit. 90% uh, of the time I stand, but when I'm just so fucking tired, where I've been standing up already for four, maybe six hours, I sit. I sit my ass down. I, I just can't. I love your voice for a shout I'm a... Hey, well, thanks. Well, thank you, Umbreon. Thank you for stopping by. If, for example, I wanted to, like small lines from a character, would there be a way to pay for it? I I've thought about making a cameo specifically, so maybe. We'll see. But at the moment, I do not. What is my favorite What If episode? Man, uh, I really like the strange one. I love the T'Challa one. Oh my god. If, if What if T'Challa was Star-Lord? That episode was awesome. I have not seen Vision yet. I have not seen Visions yet. Uh, I'm actually really excited. I might start watching it today. Uh, didn't you do the promo for the... I did do the promos for the Patrick Star Show. The Patrick Star Show! Friday night at 7! Oh, thanks, Cookie. Yeah, I only voice him in the Wayne Family Adventures. Uh, it's a collaboration with Webtoons and DC Comics. I thought it was really cool. Do, 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 do. In all your years of voice acting, have you met any voice actor you really admire? Yes. Literally, yes. Uh, some of them are my teachers. Uh, I mean, Richard Horvitz is one of them. Uh, I've met Sabbath. I've worked with Sabbath, like directing him and being directed by him. Um, hey, what's up, Captain Hokage? I saw you on my For You page. She! <laughs> she! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. Um, who else have I worked? Uh, Sonny Strait, Chris Rager, um, Mick Wingert. Mick Wingert was really cool. Uh, not Jack Black. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Visions is lit. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Have you seen Pokemon Generations? And if you so, are you going to voice? Not nah, so. Pokemon Generations... Wait, where's that Evolution? Evolutions, right? The only... The new one? Uh, I, I don't voice in that. Um, so, uh, I've been told that there's a rule since now I'm part of Pokemon Journeys as uh, a principal character. I, I, I apparently won't be in future Pokemon side projects. I think. I think that's the rule. I don't fucking know. That's what I've been told. Uh, Pretty Boy Detective Club no, not long ago. Now I'm kind of freaking out because I had no idea you were Michido. Yeah, that was actually a surprise. I, I was so excited to be Michido. I was like, sure. 
I didn't know you voiced a lot of the characters that I know. Hell yeah! Well, awesome, Captain. <laughs> Generations is the new one? Oh, wait, you have done voice act directing? Oh, yes! I've, uh, I've helped voice direct. Uh, there's a, uh, Prince of Tennis OVAs. Uh, there are two OVAs where it's, um... Oh, my God. Uh, Kyote versus Rikai. Um... Uh, I, I helped, uh, I was an assistant director on that. I was an assistant director on, uh, The Royal Tutor, um, in, in another world with my smartphone, and I directed Freedom Planet 2, like, voice direct. Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. mentioning directing to all VAs do ADR, or is that just something a few choose to do? That's something a few, a few choose to do. I have noticed that uh, a lot of actors, because they tend to be fall in love with anime, they start getting into uh, ADR. Um, like, example, Jacob Hopkins. Love that guy. He's um, the vo He was one of the voices of Gumball and recently got into uh, anime. So, it, but he's been a weeb. Uh, I know him because of Dragon Ball Legends. He, he was a big Dragon Ball Legends fan. I, I, I very rarely play VR chat. I haven't played in a while, but I would like to. I happened to find your TikTok and was amazed that you voiced so many characters. One being Mia Muda from Ori Mia, which I love. So nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too, Phoenix Blade. My favorite game besides Psychonauts is Psychonauts 2. Got him. Got him. But also Persona 5 Royal. At least you have a new Leon in your Leon club. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. That's what led me here. So again, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But what do you think of the idea of a fully dubbed audiobook? Oh, that's been done before. Uh, I believe Terry Doty has done that with her book. Um, where she got a, a little bit, uh, uh, different characters played by different people. You do Leonards? I was so surprised. I love that series. I collect the manga. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope one day, I hope that now Funimation and uh, Crunchyroll are now one company again. I hope that Funimation dubs the movie because we never got to dub it. I thought that was really cool. I was waiting to dub it. Uh, I, I had helped pick out the, uh, like, two princes for um, who, who we had an idea on who we're going to cast as the two new princes in the movie. I knew nothing about Psychonauts until a week or two ago when I dug into a little bit, and it's so funny. It's so good. I love Psychonauts. What's Psychonauts about? All right, Ayu. Let me turn off the music. Hold on. Let me turn off the music. I got to paint a picture. Hold on, chat. Sorry. Psychonauts is my favorite game of all time. I have to paint a picture. I swear to God, somebody, if you say anything, I'll fucking... I'll, let him preach. That's right. That's right. That's fucking right. <laughs> Hong? <laughs> Simba, just let me live. All right. I should probably... Hold on. If I'm going to do this... <clears throat> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to pull out my thing. I got to pull out my thing. <clears throat> Where are these? Okay, cool. All right. All right, play me in Maestro. Psychonauts. Psychonauts is about a boy named Rasputin. Rasputin is a carny. He is a boy of a big family of the Aquato family, and he is a psychic. Now, his family hates psychics, but Rasputin wants to be a psychonaut. A psychic agent. Imagine the FBI, but if they had psychic abilities. So now, Rasputin one night gets a brochure from a mysterious figure. And this brochure is to Whispering Rock Psychic Camp. And now Rasputin goes off on the world's smallest donkey to ride into the night to go to Whispering Rock Psychic Camp. And there he will learn to dive into the human mind and collect the psychic merit badges and become a true psychonaut. But there's mystery afoot. Someone is stealing the camper's brains. <gasps> but for what purpose? You will have to play psychonauts to find out. But also it's about a, it's a platformer where literally each level is the literal human mind of someone. You dive into the minds of different uh, characters of the game 
and uh, it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, favorite game of all time. Yeah, and they have all different types of uh, brains, different types of people. Uh, you have a sergeant, you have an artist, you have an actor, and uh, you have a therapist or psychiatrist. I forgot what he was. Um, but uh, it's really cool diving to the different minds because uh, if you really pay attention at what's in the mind, you really start to think, oh, this game is clever. I don't want to give everything away, but in the mind of an actor, there is a critic. Now, why would the mind of an actor have a critic? Because it's an internal critic and it's so fucking good. My favorite game of all time has been for 15 years and they just came out with a sequel. So if you pick up Psychonauts 1 now, it's uh, you can play the sequel and you don't have to wait 15 years like I did. <laughs> The sequel was worth it. It was literally everything I wanted and then some. Uh, but I highly recommend. Uh, and the sequel is even better because instead of just diving into character types of, of minds, you dive into very similar individuals, but they deal with different types of like depression, different types of human, you know, interpretations. Like some are self-loathing, some are depressed, some just, have so many regrets and it's a lot more adult and I can't recommend Psychonauts enough. Also, Psychonauts 1 is literally $10 on Steam. Uh, and Psychonauts 2 could be a dollar if you get Game Pass. Just saying. On both Xbox or PC. So you don't even have to pay the full $60. If you pay $1 for Game Pass because the first month is either free or a dollar, you get Psychonauts 2 for free. That's all I'm saying. I'd highly recommend. Favorite game of all time. Psychonauts 1 and Psychonauts 2. So. That's my spiel. On Psychonauts. Scorpio Milo. Lark Berg. Hey there, kiddo. What happened to my fucking music? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Dumbass. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Spark Notes it is then. What are you talking about? How dare you? Just play it. Later, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by. We'll put it on my list. Sounds hecka interesting. Uh, one of my favorite. It, and, and the art style is very Tim Burton. Like, it's not... It's very stylistic. It's not... It's not, uh, like, very... Po it's not, like, you know, clean. It's, like, weird shapes and sizes of for every character. It, I, I love it. It's so cool. It's so cool. That's a very creepy factor in a good one. Not done by Tim Burton, but Tim Burton-esque. Well, you kind of got me hooked. You're welcome. I aim to please. <laughs> uh, I will preach to the heavens about Psychonauts any chance I get. Later, Squid! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. <laughs> My watch, I know that voice because I want to show my parents why I want... Yes, do it, Nicholas. That's a great documentary. Mm, ah, cracking my neck. Uh, Eaton, you... Mm, yes and no. Ah, yes and no. I will say the second half of Psychonauts 1 is creepier than the second half of Psychonauts 2. But I think they both have an equal amount of creepy factor. For sure. Ugh. Later, Mina Moose. Hadn't continued since, but I'm focusing towards Pokemon Platinum, so I continued my Pokemon journey up to Kalos and then Gen 4 Remakes. Hell yeah. I can't wait. I'm going to play the Gen 4 Remakes on stream. It's going to be so good. I might schedule out days <laughs> just so I can stream for like 12 hours, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, scariest game I've played? Alien Isolation. And I say Alien Isolation. I'm sure I've played scarier, but Alien Isolation dead ass gave me a panic attack on stream. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, 
my top five favorite bands well number one is tenacious d then maybe the killers then foo fighters queen the beatles maybe i don't know those are just like the top five that came to my head hey, what's up julian oh oh crush 40 crush 40 is definitely top five top five definitely 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 psychonauts one or two 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 is better one is more nostalgic psychonauts two is way better like playing wise like gameplay wise abilities wise i mean looks wise but like psychonauts 2 is superbly better it, it, it took everything from one and just expanded upon it it was the best decision sonic unleashed sonic unleashed is all right um not a bad one um man i will say right now if i do a subathon on november uh, on my birthday <laughs> november 15th don't forget it um i will have it so <laughs> i play sonic 06 as one of the sub pools of the sub of uh and i have and i have an xbox series x so maybe we won't deal with as much of the glitches maybe <laughs> are you thinking about joining the hori mia cast in their panel or the next one when i have no idea when those are But can you name eight other of your favorite games of all time? I mean, Psychonauts 1 and 2. That's the first two, right? So, another eight. Persona 5 Royal. Uh, Spider-Man PS4. Or, I guess, PS5, whatever. Uh, God of War. Um, Banjo-Kazooie. Um, uh, Mega Man Battle Network. I, I, I just say series. But if I had to pick one Mega Man Battle Network, Battle Network 3... Uh, white. Uh, cause blue had, I think it was the genie, and I don't know why, uh, Mega Man 3 white had, uh, bowl man. <laughs> the bowling ball, the bowling dude. Um, uh, I think I need three more, or five? No, wait. Five more? Okay. Um, what else? Hold on. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of games. Can you think of game? Um, I really like Ratchet and Clank, but I don't know if it's my favorite game. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I can. For this Saturday and a second one planned out. Hey, I can't do either. This Saturday I have plans, and then the ninth I literally have my family over. Origami King, thank you. Holy shit. Origami King, yeah. I loved Origami King. Origami King was so fucking good. I know that not a lot of people were a fan of it, but I adored Origami King. Hmm. I mean, I could say, uh could say Sly. Nah, nah, I'm, uh, I like Sly, but I don't like it that much. I don't know. Those are all, those are all the ones I can think of at the moment. But yeah. Still find it amazing you voiced Red Hood? Uh, you sure did. <laughs> if you don't love it that much, then why ask for five? You more excited for the Wolverine or Spider-Man 2? Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 mainly because I really love Spider-Man 1. Uh, and Wolverine, I need to see gameplay. I, I need to see what it plays like. My favorite movie or TV show? Okay, my favorite TV show is Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, favorite movie? I really like Tropic Thunder. <laughs> oh my god. I think it still holds up. And, and, and let me explain. Let me explain. Shut up. Let me explain. I say that because I still think it's true that movie makes fun of all the tropes that of Hollywood, 
right? It makes fun of the method actor. It makes fun of the rapper, the hip hop artist being in a movie. It makes fun of the comedian being in a drama. It makes fun of the new kid. It makes fun of, um, you know, the super serious director. Like it's a joke, in, a joke of itself, right? Um, and that's why I still think it holds up. Like it's a little, a little risque nowadays, but I, I still think it holds up. I, I really like that movie. Maybe there will be a Royal Tudor season two. There's not a season two, but there is a movie that we never dubbed and I hope we get to dub it. But is there a type of character that you like to voice? Um, I really like the bros, like the Ryuji types. I get to do those sometimes, uh, but I really like those. Mega Evolution is officially confirmed. Oh shit. Also, we're getting a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. If I don't have anything to do, which I don't think I do, we are gonna watch that Direct. I'm so excited. Black Dynamite? Uh, the cartoon or the movie? The answer is yes. Not all of it, but yeah. Wait, you're gonna stream it? Yeah, why wouldn't I? My reaction, right? Which trope do I fall under? <laughs> over the... My, my, the trope that I've had goes all over the place. It used to be it used to be the bro, like the, hey, what's good, buddy? How you doing? It used to be that, right? And then it became the... Uh, <laughs> and then it became the really angry boy, the really angry shoddy boy. And then it became the very low time to talk strategy type. Like, that's literally what it's become. It's gone from, hey, what's up, dude? To, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> it's so funny. What am I hoping to see on the direct? Well, I mean, the last Smash character. Um, and then, uh... <laughs> hey, welcome back, Heavenly Father. And I kind of hope they announce... Battle Network collection? Capcom, hook them up, please. Wait, you're a VA? That's baller. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Heavenly Father, where will I go on my mission? No, 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 no. You're totally fine, Heavenly. Um, it, it's not common, but it's becoming common. Because um, I made a, a TikTok yesterday. Uh, but it's slowly becoming common knowledge. Uh, no worries. Maybe Genshin Impact on the Switch? Man, they gotta do something. I mean, for one year, they haven't done shit. Hey, what's up, Libra? Hey, well, I'm glad. Oh, man, I'm getting a little dizzy. <laughs> I haven't eaten that much today, but I had boba. <sighs> you wanna see more gameplay of Arceus? I don't think we will. I think we might see more gameplay of Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, 1B. It's it's pretty bad. Especially for one year. It's it's fucking abysmal. <laughs> Get it? Abyss. Abysmal. <laughs> that was a joke. It really is bad. It really is fucking atrocious. Oh, hey, look. I got that. I got that. I've been using my voice all day tired. I've been using my voice all day voice. Hey, what's good? How you doing, kids? It's me, your fucking dad. I just showed up from work. No, I didn't get the fucking milk. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I'll kill ya. Ah, daddy's gonna kill ya. <laughs> ah, psycho. Uh, just found your TikTok and I'm excited. Hey, well, thank you. Daddy, sigh. Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry. <laughs> God, because of Snuffy, I've now heard that mommy milky please shit so much. I'm like, where's the daddy version, huh? What would that even be? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't make, don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. Shut up. Don't answer that, chat. <laughs> I see you, degenerates. 
fucking symbol. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm I'm breaking down. I I'm short start getting. <laughs> ah, that's awful. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Dicky. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> oh my God. Sweet fucking Christ. Add another. All right, lay it on me, Simba. What's the other one? What's the other one? Say it. Say it. <laughs> I think that was better. I think that was funnier. <laughs> Daddy dick me. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. I don't think anyone could pay me enough to say, like, recreate the mommy milky shit, but with daddy dick me. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, <laughs> unless. <laughs> hey, yo, we've got 100 tier 3 subs right now. <laughs> oh my god. Make that a TikTok sound. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Horny Jill, all of you. That ass. Here, I got you. I got you. I have to do this 242 more times. Thanks for the follow. My hand got tired. <laughs> oh my god. Rapid fire at bet. That sounds awful. That sounds awful rapid fire. Oh, fish nuggets, you just missed it. You know, Simba made a really funny joke about daddy dick me. You know. See, even my dog fucking hates it. Which is fair. It's fucking fair. Hey, what's up, Armonica? Oh, doggo. Here comes the boy. You just sent the horny thoughts to another dimension with so many bonks. I'll be back. The fact that uh, that harder daddy joke. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Sure did. Here comes the boy. <laughs> what a chill stream. Do, do, do. Oh man. Got it. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if I made that audio, by the way, the, the daddy one, I, I feel like I feel like I'd have to hide it. I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. Now, I have a certain threshold, and that is definitely passing the threshold. Ryuji needs a VTuber of himself. No, 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 it's fine. Daddy Dinkers! <laughs> Daddy's Dinkers! <laughs> that sounds fucking awful. <laughs>
More like very chill and drunk. Yeah, no, that's just you, bro. What's the strangest character I've had to voice? Travel. 100% travel. From One Piece. This is a nice break from berries and cream, TikTok. Daddy's dinkers. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I have the Woody Woodpecker laugh, though? <laughs> Fucking Christ. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -bun 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 berries and cream, berries and cream. That's up, Sita. I want to make a fan animation of what? Of what? Me? What? What are you trying to do? Hey! <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gumball, gumball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop, your laugh is cute. I've been getting that a lot. Thanks. Hey, what's up, ne uh, ne Nem Souls? What's up, Nem Souls? How you doing? <laughs> um... My favorite character that I voiced, it, it, it alternates. I think we're not seeing the final DLC character this month. Uh, that's not a hot take. That's absolutely what's going to happen. I don't expect to see the Smash character. I want to see the last Smash character. We're not going to see it. However, it would be fucking wild if Nintendo actually gets Goku. Now, hear me out. It's not going to happen. But Fortnite is getting Naruto. And it's crazy that Goku... Could end up being in Fortnite before Smash. It's crazy to me how Nicktoons could have fucking Goku before they have fucking Goku and Smash. I'ma say it. If Waluigi is the last Smash character, what a fucking waste. Oh! Naruto is in Fortnite. Or will be in Fortnite. I think this week actually. Exactly, Wolf. Exactly. I need it to be a waste. Jesus. Can't wait for it to be another Fire Emblem character. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Afterwish? How you doing? We're just chilling. And before Jerry... No, not in your fucking dreams. Not in my fucking dreams. Naruto is not in Fire Emblem. He's in Fortnite. God, get it right. Gee, Mooncaw. If it's like one of the transforming people from Fire Emblem, I wouldn't mind. Yo, raise a hand. Raise, raise your hands, chat. Who actually plays Corrin? Can we... Can we swap out Corrin for literally anybody else? No, you do not, Heavenly. You're a liar. What? No fucking way. People actually play that character? All right, Incineroar, I respect. I used to mean Incineroar. Corn is great. Well, I guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> People playing corn. Couldn't be me. I'd rather play Steve. His Steve is just chaotic as fuck. <laughs> My cart. I saw you on my TikTok feed once. Don't remember which video, but I liked it. Oh, well, thank you, Zena. I had a friend uh, who made corn. Well, yeah, had. Because I ain't your friend anymore. <laughs> I just thought that you were a VTuber, and I'm a big fan of you and VTuber, so freaked out. Hey, well, welcome, Trace. I'd rather have Sasuke. Honestly, I feel like Sasuke would make more sense in Fortnite than Naruto. 
If you were to pick one to have a fucking gun, it would be Sasuke, not fucking Naruto. Later, actress. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the follow. That's a yawn. How dare you prey on my heart of silver white hair characters? You know? <laughs> I mean, Sheik, Sasuke. Sasuke would square up in Fortnite. Yo, if Sasuke had like an exclusive weapon to make lightning and I just hear him go, feel the wrath of a thunderclap, Bro, can his fucking pickaxe be Shidori? Bro, fucking bro, I would play, I would buy the shit out of Sasuke. If his fucking pickaxe thing was a Shidori, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I don't give a fuck, Simba. No, give me Shidori. Fuck his sword. I don't give a shit about his sword. Yeah, whatever. Lightning element, fuck it. No, give me Shidori. Shidori. Naruto. Oh man. Oh Sasuke. What a dream boat. <laughs> yeah, if you're a fucking idiot. What? Who said that? Simba. <laughs> Golly. You're welcome, Julia. You're welcome. Why would that be his glider? If anything, it would be like his old Akatsuki robes. You know, the fake ones? Or his wings? Ugh, I forgot about that. Older Persona games on the Switch? Man, I really hope we get some... Man, it'd be fucking wild if we get some sort of Atlas Persona announcement tomorrow. I mean, we're gonna get a Shimmy Gummy Tensei announcement for sure. Because, I mean, the game comes out soon. And, um, you know, but I, I really hope we get some sort of persona announcement eventually this year, uh, just cause, um, uh, you know, the announcement and stuff. Oh, well, perfect then, Lilac. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. You need to watch all of Naruto one day? No, you need to read. Trust me. There's too much filler. If Sasuke has... Well, Sasuke's not even going to be in the game. But yes, it would be great. <sighs> Alright. I think I may be coming close to ending the stream. Just because just I'm tired. And we have been going live for three hours. Just <laughs> sending around, chatting, and just talking between us. Which is a lot of fun. But later, harmonica. Thank you for stopping by. I'll be live again tomorrow. Hey, what's up, darkness? Later, Godzilla. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any last minute questions, feel free to ask. And, uh, and then we'll end the stream. Do you translate the Japanese or are they more inspired by the theme of the shows? Um, I don't write my own lyrics. Uh, that uh, Most of my lyrics now are written by... Hayden Davio, uh, they're, they're, they're my fiance. Um, but they write most of my lyrics, uh, and if not, it is usually Michaela Laws. So that is more a question for them, but uh, the way Hayden writes, uh, they, um, Simba, shut up. Uh, the way Hayden writes, they try to incorporate themes from the shows. Uh, and Michaela does that sometimes. Sometimes Michaela goes off the walls. Later, Nicholas. Of course, Gravesleep. Take it easy. Was it hard setting up a home studio to record it? It was expensive. Um, there are less expensive ways to do it, but I, the way I did it was uh, I bought a studio bricks because of, um, I, I was getting a lot of noise uh, from like my dog and like outside and all this other stuff. Um, but a studio bricks is very expensive. 
Uh, so I don't recommend a studio breaks if you're starting out. If you're wanting an at-home booth that is somewhat cheaper, I recommend the vocal booths to go because they're also portable. Um, and, and they worked out really well for me when I was, uh, when the pandemic first started. Later on, Brian. Thank you for the follow. Uh, okay. Uh, I think 